Here we go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Zagger Tastic stream. It is I, your friend, the one, the only Z, a single guy, Erd Zaggard, and I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, new night, evening, whatever time it is for you today. Welcome back to the Dragon's Den, my friends, and it is another wonderful, wacky Wednesday here in the Dragon's Den with my friend, the mythology guy, aka Andrew. How are you doing today? I'm alive. I'm tired. I was up late finishing that shockingly similar stories video, which you should all go watch multiple times. Yeah, just play it. Just play what's, it on loop. What's that noise? That's the it's the music for when we at the beginning of the stream. It's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah. Seriously though, uh, he Andrew did that all by himself, and I think he did a pretty good job. Thank you. Yeah. First. Uh, well, not first. Um, first uh, since Mulan. Well, I technically edited the Cleopatra video, but that was easy. <laughs> that was not hard to edit. This took me a while to edit. <laughs> and I, I mean, you know, like I said, you did yeah, a good job. I think it's a much better editing than I did in Mulan. <laughs> I mean, that was what two years ago. So that's I think be three years ago. <laughs> Either way, that's yeah. to be expected. Good job. Well done. Oh, thank you. Uh, before we continue on, we do have some other announcements. Don't forget, I have a giveaway going on right now. If you want to win a Legend of Zelda Master Sword and Hylian Shield combo. Uh, or you want to win some Amiibos or a t-shirt that I will order for you personally once we find out who the winner for that is, uh, go type exclamation point giveaway and it'll bring you directly to that page. And uh, also we'd like to thank, well, you, our number one sponsors. Uh, because of you, you <laughs> are able to keep this stream going and I'm very thankful to each and every one of you who drops bits, who subscribes, who gifts, uh, gifts subs, and just for sitting here watching us. It really means a lot and thank you. You love them so much, why don't you marry them? I would, but that would be illegal in several countries. You, you, you let such a simple thing like the law get in your way. That's why you will never know true happiness. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, let's get so, into uh, um, Neo. Yeah, we haven't played a Japanese game yet, have we? No, no we have not. Yeah. I, I, I am Japanese-themed game made by Japanese developers with a white guy as the main character. <laughs> It's, you know, it's not unheard of in mythology for it, that to happen. Granted, based on an actual historical figure, yeah. actually. And uh, this story is nothing like what he actually went through. No. Not. But, yeah, he was... I, I, I don't know. I guess maybe the developers were impressed that, like, a, a European uh, seafarer actually became a samurai. So they wanted to have him be the main character. So here we go. I'm gonna turn this down on the TV a bit so there's not an echo for you guys. Do, do. That, those are Oni, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> oh, I thought those were Eno. Yep, and here we have some Japanese people. Are you sure? Are you sure? They look like they might be <laughs> Korean. Yep, there's our character. Boop, boop. Ah, so when guns were certain. Okay. Yeah, you, you can get a gun in the game. It's just like, you know, uh, ammo is not super nearly as Everywhere, common yeah. as arrows so you know. it's funny because um i saw a meme and you know every movie whenever they depict samurai when the first guns came out they're like how could you have something so uh silly so barbaric right but real real life samurais when guns came out they were like okay like, sounds good <laughs> yeah i mean why would tactically it's just a better weapon yeah, they're than not even though Jedi were based on them, they're not Jedi. <laughs> yeah, they're not like Jedi. <laughs> and Samurai didn't have magic powers like Jedi did in real world history. Hey, so. you, you don't know. You don't know. Were you there? 
Where were you? You were there? You were there? Yes, I was. Oh, okay. You don't remember? I'm, had, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean We that. had lunch with Izanbushi. <laughs> you, you forgot about that? Okay, first of all, it's Isanboshi, you horrific No, 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 I, no, Isanbushi is his uh, unknown, uh, less <laughs> younger brother. Ah, uh, yes, the guy with the bushy hair. Yeah, <laughs> that was, that's all he's known for. My god, he, so, wait, wait, Isanboshi, the one-inch high samurai, has a little brother? Who is the true little brother? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh my god, Shane, this game has an autosave feature. See, we're really, uh, really innovating. <laughs> Didn't this game come out on PS4? It did. Why did you need to tell me? Auto saving was a thing in the PS2 era. Shane, you gotta make sure that people know. All right, so we need to do it until the images have the same intensity. Well, I see no problem here. <laughs> By intensity, what do they mean? Like, cause do they mean just as bright? They look just as bright right now. I'm guessing that's what they mean. Okay, boom. It's like I thought they meant like one shouldn't be more polygony than yeah, the other. Yeah, I don't know. That was odd. Yeah, let's just do standard mode. I'm not. Weird. Um, um, and hello, let's see who is here. Hello, Alexi Soft Troy. Hello, hi everyone. Miss both of you. How are you doing? We're doing well. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Toko. Hi, Rochambeau. Uh, so Neo is not made by the people who is not made by FromSoft, the people who make the Soulsborne games, but it is very much a Soulsborne uh, style game. <clears throat> the developers of Neo, several of them were Souls fans, mm -hmm. so and it shows here. And uh, I really like this game, honestly. I've never finished it, because I, I play it with Wilda, typically, and uh, we haven't gotten all the way to the end yet. What? No, 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 don't don't show the intro again. Yeah. Can, can I talk for two seconds without the intro popping up? Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I've seen some streams of it, and I watched your brother play it a bit, and I, I was interested, I just never... I didn't have a PlayStation, I didn't have the time. It is pretty hard, but, you know, well... Dragon and every time there's something mythology related, Andrew will tell you the full story behind it. I will do my best. No, no, no. He will tell the exact story in its original Japanese, reading it in Katakana. Alright. So we start actually in Europe. Europa? To wow. the far east lies Zipongo, a land brimming with golden palaces and sparkling jewels. I don't remember Kublai Zipongo Khan, in Europe. ruler of the Mongol Empire, sent a long army there. But the warriors of Zipangu used miraculous stones to put up a strong defense. Crystal meth. Obviously. Well, yeah. The, cr the crystal meth stuff. Shane, it's figurative. See, now they are stoned miraculously. <laughs> you got me. Amrita. So Amrita is like spirit energy. The philosopher's stone. We all know that. From Harry Potter and the nothing else. Yeah, that was <laughs> I should really do a video on the Philosopher's Stone at some point. Uh, that was called the Sorcerer's Stone. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, pardon my French. The Queen of England remains locked in combat. She doesn't look like it. She looks like she's sitting down. Well, remember, she can move in any direction on the board, so... Yeah. Spain. You know, Japan, Spain, England, the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> you remember these in world history? I remember learning about Shane, you put the wrong game in, goddammit! <laughs> Look, I really wanted to play Harry Potter. I just really wanted to play I Harry told Potter. you not to put Elden Ring in. We're not ready for it. <laughs> no, this is Elden Potter. Oh, God. <laughs> so it's, uh, the Cursed Child? <laughs> oh, God. What a disappointing sequel. And it's unfortunately canon. We managed to defeat the Spanish Armada. See, we're learning history here. This is what's important. I mean, it does. It, and it now would, the stone's all red. It would because, make sense because, for. See, originally the stone was for a good Jedi, but as the no, Jedi man. became more evil, now it's the red. The dark side of the see, Force. Yeah. Now that we know this now from playing a uh, Fallen Order Survivor, what? Whatever. Both of them. All right, so we're in the Tower of London. You know, Neo, you guy. <laughs> okay, I, I actually do think it's kind of cool that we start in London and then go to Japan. It's you know what that scene reminds me of? What? The scene in Pirates of the Caribbean, that image they were showing. Oh, the yeah. part where they're like, come here, doggy. <laughs> that was from the ride. How many games start with ride? None. <laughs> All. Yeah, n none of, yeah. It's not like half games. Shane, this is a very new concept. A man at the beginning of the story is in prison and it's raining in nighttime. 
What do you think's going to happen? I think he'll just hang tomorrow and that'll be First it. First of all, that jail cell is fucking huge. Ooh, Did you see how big them, it was? Them feet. <laughs> um, uh, see, I told you he was on crystal oh, meth. <laughs> Death comes for you. Thank you, Tinkerbell. <laughs> death won't stop Someone's chasing trying to eat me. my tuna fish sandwich, that little goblin kitty. All right. Well, there, Shane. I mean, there's really nothing we can do but like serve penance for our crimes. I'm sorry. Why is the spirit here? It's you know, it's your companion sprite. But why? When? When did I get this companion sprite? You've always had one. You know, that's just. <laughs> what is this like in Pokemon Shane, when you turn 10 years old? There are some things that don't need to be explained to you. Here, just open the door. The door seems to be locked. It's, oh, do know, does it? Does it seem that the wait, jail... Do you cell... know if it's locked or does it seem to be locked? Those are two mm, different things. It seems to be locked. Our spirit is just looking at us like, hey, over here. Oh, no, the door seems to be locked. Fine, we'll talk All to right, the fine. weird magic What do you spirit. want? Okay. Now, for something that is definitely, completely, Shane, 100% historically accurate. Uh, 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 yeah! Fuck you, wall! I mean, I believe at one point in time, someone probably... And this door is just Wait, open! why would the door be open? <laughs> well, because, um, as you can see, Prisoner 456 didn't quite making it. Sorry, Squid Game. <laughs> And we absorbed his soul. We got some spirit. Okay, so to sprint, you hold X while moving. All right, well, it's good that we found this other cell, but how are we going to get out? The door seems to be locked. I still don't understand what to do. All right, I don't know. Maybe we can go uh, ask this pleasant guard for some help. Sir? Hey! What, what? What's the problem? Whoa! Whoa! I'm just defending myself. I'm standing my ground. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, stand your ground laws don't exist All yet. All right, your turn. <laughs> what? Huh? Uh, I've been freed from my mortal coil. Yeah, hold it. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get my cat. Yeah, you gotta get your cat out of here. Shane's cats are assholes. <laughs> no, no, they're just kittens. They're just little pussies. That guy was very rude. Wait, what? I'm, I'm just in my cell! What are you mad about? I'm just in my cell! I didn't do anything! Okay, so X to dodge. I haven't played in a while, so I'm trying to remember. God, barehanded gameplay is terrible right now. I have to learn some kung fu. Wait, that's the wrong country. I have to learn anyway. some ninjutsu. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Standu, hello, and Boom Earns, thank you oh, for gifting, th uh, for Shane. subscribing at tier one for three months in a row. Thank you so much. And I killed a man. And now all I have left is his bastard sword. <laughs> it is an interesting name for a can sword. Take it. That sword is a bastard. Ooh, and a dungeon key. Wait, why don't oh, we... wait, can I open the door now? Yay! <laughs> why don't we take his armor, too? It's It's not my size. What, what do you mean? It's armor. I'm pretty It's not my size. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, um... Okay, how do you equip... Yeah, here we go. Hello, Percy All right, the so Jackson. we now have a bastard sword. And pretty soon, we'll probably get a bitch shield. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Imagine if that was a thing. I know the reason they named it a bastard sword it was because it was like... They were trying to make two different types of swords, right, if I remember we correctly. Can open this. All right, so you want to collect uh, this Amrita. It's what you need to level up. Basically. So people's souls. Yeah. What's interesting also is, yeah, when you collect it, since, you know, you're collecting, like, the remains of their soul, you hear some of their last, like, moments and it stuff. It kind of reminds me of the Force Echoes from... Uh... Uh, it ba it basically is the Force Echoes from Star Wars. Except the Force smaller. Echoes aren't as necessary. Of course, you get Amrita every time you kill an enemy. That's just, like, bonus Amrita that you fuck. Wait, which way do I, should I go first? You never want to go the right way in a game. Yeah, you always go the wrong way first. That's how you get all the cool shit. So I could have gone this way without killing the guy, but it would have only led here. Oh, wait. <laughs> Is there gear in here? There's some boots. Oh! <laughs> there was a sword here. I could have... I didn't have to fight that guy barehanded. I could have you snuck fool. around. <laughs> 
My bigger question is, how do they fit that fucking sword in that chest? It's not even as long. I've played this game a lot before. I have actually... I do not remember ever seeing a piece of gear that said equal on it. It's always been higher or lower. That is a first, actually. <laughs> you still want to take the... You can sell the gear because yeah, you can trade it for Amrita to level up faster. Makes sense. All right, so we want to put the boots on because that will somehow make our whole body more resilient. Well, it's because when they go to attack us, you just put your foot up. Yeah, and it'll exactly. Block it. you know, wha, wha. <laughs> You're, it's like those uh, kung fu movies from like the '60s and '70s where they're floating around and uh, doing. It feels so good not to just be stepping on all of these sharp rocks and urine. I mean, actually, yeah, shoes were probably to, one of the most to, important things for soldiers back in the day. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty much all my own urine. I would, throughout the day, often stick my wang through the bars and just pee everywhere. Everywhere. You know, that's a pretty easy way to get your, um... Everywhere. Your okay. They, you everywhere. Know what? That's it, I'm cutting your wiener off. Everywhere. Cutting it off. Everywhere! No children for you. You can't stop the endless flow. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay, so L1 is to block. I'm just going to get familiar with the controls. Uh, R1 is to switch weapons, but there's nothing the to switch to. R2 is to inside. switch oh, items, no. but I don't have any items. Square is quick attack. Triangle is heavy attack. Circle does... Literally nothing. Okay, so circles to interact with objects. X is to run, and a quick tap is to dodge. Okay. I see why the guard wanted to kill you now, because of all the urine. Yep, of course, but you know what? It turned out it wasn't just about the urine. It turned out when his back is turned, I said, Hey, buddy, you're in trouble. Oh! Mmm! Mmm! All right, everybody unsubscribe from him now. <laughs> oh, medicine. Just sitting here in a fucking box. <laughs> well, you know, there were cards here in case okay. something happened. Um, okay, so do I have... I think I have to assign the medicine? Hold on. Do I do this? Uh, I, I don't want to use it. Uh, equipment... Ah, here we go. Shortcut. Yeah, there we go. Set a uh, shortcut. There we go. So it's the All right. Oh, it's up the one. Okay. You just press the up button, and yeah. you can have two categories. You switch between them with R2. So this is going to be like a Jedi, uh, Star Wars Jedi now. Because you press up sure. the heel. I mean, granted, yeah, Star Wars Jedi it was also similarly inspired by Dark Souls, but it's way easier than Dark Souls. <laughs> it definitely is. Which they... I'm, I'm happy with. People say it's more like the Sekiro of Sekiro, games. Yeah. I have not played that. Hey, there's a coat just sitting in a box at the bottom of the... Who just leaves, like, a coat here? You know, in case they have visitors. This is Dan's spot, damn it! <laughs> Look, Dan lives here. Torso okay. armor. I, I know I'm stopping a lot to Wait. equip stuff, but this is a hard game, okay? You want to be as powerful as possible. I don't think anybody will complain about that. Yeah. That does not look like a coat. That looks more like a... Yeah, that... that, that ain't, is that a coat? It looks more I mean, like it's a, a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a jacket, but a co when I think coat, I think... Uh, I don't know. Well, where, where, why doesn't it say Guns and Roses on it? Come on. Guns and Roses. ACDC. Okay. Right. Walk around blocking, just in case. Oh, there's some asshole. That's his name, some asshole. Oh, by the way, he is some asshole. You want to know something funny, Andrew? No. Uh, in, uh, in Star Wars Jedi Survivor... Why over, do you even ask? Over 500 <laughs> people have died to Rick the Technician. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, too, when I heard that. Shane, it's Rick the Door Technician. You're right, it, I'm right. sorry. I, I, the Don't most slander Rick. The most powerful boss in the entire series, Rick okay. the Door Technician. Buddy, if it didn't work the first five times... Well, maybe you'll get if tired If it didn't down. work the first nine times... Dumbass. <laughs> That was just natural selection. Edison, yay. <laughs> this is supposed to be London, right? Yeah, Tower why, of London. Why are the outfits... Why do the outfits look so anime? I don't know. Because it's a Japanese game! <laughs> I, sure, yeah. Ooh, big door. Ah. You know, the Tower of London looks like it needs some repairs oh, to oh, be done. I saw some movement here. Oh no, the other guy noticed. I was hoping he wouldn't. Oh shit, I was trying to I was trying to use the medicine. All right, your turn. All right. Okay, so how this do I life do this? Has ended. 
All right, so you press the buttons on that, and then the character does things. I'm gonna press some buttons on you, and you'll stop doing things. I'm, it looks like I pressed your buttons. Oh! <laughs> okay, square is light attack, triangle heavy attack, L1 to block, uh, X to sprint and to dodge. There's a guy behind you if you want to kill him. You should probably practice, yeah. Oh, and click the right analog stick to lock on. You have a, um, you have, like, an energy meter. Be careful not to use it all up or you'll be vulnerable. See the green yeah, meter? Yeah, yeah, it's like, It gets yeah. used up when you dodge, strike, or get hit while blocking. Yeah, I've seen enough uh, gameplay of this in other Dark Souls. Yeah, stamina meter, that's... What's, when you die, you don't lose your gear or your items, but you do lose all of your Umbrita. I'm just you, gonna call all it. All of your unused Umbrita. I'm just gonna call it Souls, because it's essentially the same thing. That is if you don't pick it up. Are you saying right? the Philosopher's Stone is the Soul Stone? Okay, you're low on stamina. Careful. Unfortunately, archers are easy to deal with. Because your stamina recharges faster than they can reload, and you're dead. <laughs> it wasn't recharging. Cause well, that's because you forward. you went you went up and attacked him when. He, here's what what you, yeah I figured I know, I, you, I know you should what, have waited until your stamina recharged before going into that. Fight. I didn't realize the stamina <laughs> recharge is so slow. I haven't. Yeah, played. it's because you know we're at the very beginning of the game, so we have the worst stats ever. I forgot that it also affects if you can attack or not, not just... Oh, we got gloves! Nice. Well, that was the How come I didn't get his gloves last time? No, no, this is the real reason we died. We purposely died multiple well, yeah, times. Yeah, we wanted those gloves. Wanted Look at those drops. beautiful gloves. I'm ready to go into the kitchen and cook now. It literally looks like we soiled our <laughs> pants. They're so dirty compared God. to everything else. <laughs> well, Shane, like I said, yeah. everything. I mean, to be fair, well, we have been in prison. On everything. Oh, and when you die, by the way, Amrita that's around the world doesn't respawn. So if you don't get back to yeah, where you yeah. died and reclaim it, it's just yeah. gone unless you want to restart the whole I, I played Hollow Knight. <laughs> okay, well then I'm saying it for the audience, you ungrateful son! <laughs> um, okay. Coming from Mythology Guy's channel, I've been watching the God of War highlights and wanted to check this place out. Well, thanks for joining us. Awesome! Jackson. Well, I'm glad you enjoy those highlights videos. Game. Um our, the editor of those videos, Taha, I know he puts a lot of time into them, and uh, I put money into him putting time into them, so I'm glad you like them. <laughs> game blouses, yes. I love game blouses. You don't want to fight me? I soiled myself! Do you really want to be near that? Put some respect on his name. No. The only name yeah. I respect is our lord and savior, Robin of the Williams. Well, you should always respect Robin of the Williams. Hmm, for House Williams is incomplete without Rob. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it helps that I know, like, the ins and outs of the game, because I've played almost to the end before. Okay, um, it, it's better if we take these guys one at a time. There we go. The other guy somehow doesn't notice. He's just like, Hey, Steve, where are you going? Steve? I'm sure he's fine. Oh, hey, no, you're supposed to be ignorant and stupid! Why are you making smart decisions? God damn it. Now you've made my mocking of you not make sense. I'm offended. How dare you not be stupid. He that's ruined it. my mockery, Shane. No one ruins my mockery. That, and that's why we had to kill him. Exactly. Trousers! Yes, pants fresh on. trousers that we can soil. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, look at us. Don't we look at... How do they know we're not just a guard now? Yeah, that's true. How come this doesn't? How come this doesn't work like in Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild? Oh, is this a better bastard sword? Hold on. Oh no, that was just if I was comparing it to being barehanded. Okay, the other bastard sword is exactly the same. Weapons don't break, so there's no reason to equip it in the second slot. <laughs> yeah, you have two weapon slots. You hold R1 to switch. So you hold R1, Makes sense. and then left and right is for melee. Up and down is for ranged. But we don't have ranged, and we only have one melee, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you guys maybe want to fix this? But if, if that, if that does get fixed, is there any other way in? Oh, I guess, no? Well, there was no a other... door you passed earlier, there but was... that's boarded up. Oh, yeah. What are you, so did, did this break and they just went, okay, that's the new door, board that up. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. <laughs> that's literally that what, what happened. Isn't that what you do when a hole is opened in your wall? I wanted a door there anyway. <laughs> yeah, then they built some stairs. 
No, it, it wasn't pre- Wait, 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 yeah, wait! There's stairs here! And this is bro- What did this lead to originally? <laughs> Uh, the, the outside. Shade, this tower is a work in progress. <laughs> they just haven't officially put the door in. Look, it's not officially a tower yet. It's more of just a tall building. It's just slightly higher than an Isn't average townhouse. Tower is? No, it's only slightly higher. Oh, high. she's saying go this way? Then I'm going this way. Yeah, we're going any other way that besides where you want, you weird fish yeah, lady. You don't tell me where to go, you whatever the hell you are. I'm going to call her a fish lady until I'm proven wrong by Skyans. And since I'm the only scientist here, I can't be... Oh, wait, wrong. I just realized, I think she was leading us to one of the checkpoint things, so we should actually oh, get bonfire. that. Oh, <laughs> bonfire, got it. Yeah. So, I'll just tell you what she is. Basically, um, you know, in Japan, there are companion mm -hmm. spirits. Yeah. And they, and I actually think it's a cool attention to detail, so since there are companion spirits when you get to Japan, here in Europe, there's the European version of a companion spirit, basically like a fairy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, so it's alters for the yeah. checkpoint. Got it. All right, so that gives us all our health back. Had I even lost any? <laughs> it gives us all our health back, but it's also a checkpoint. So if we die, we'll respawn here. Yeah, it's yeah again like um, uh, Dark Souls yeah. slash. Uh, uh, what was the game? Okay, um, I actually will go Hollow up Knight. to the top of the tower now and uh, explore that area. <laughs> How do the guards not know I'm a guard at this point? Do, do they know everyone on base? Like, hey, I go out of my way to learn everybody's name around here. To be fair, you're the only prisoner. So <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe they all just know. There were other prisoners. They were just dead because you, your guys' like, conditions suck. You need to get better furniture. Oh, they don't want them to live. Where is that? More, is that coming from here? Tomorrow's execution takes place. We will get our hands on a compass that will lead us. Ah, yes. Amrita. That's the villain. Yeah, I really now. I had no idea. I thought he was our ally. Perhaps even I thought he was going to help save the world from the Fire Nation. So I don't fully know what's going on in the plot, but from what I can tell, it's so this guy whose name is Kelly. What an intimidating name! Look out! It's Kelly. Look out for Kelly. <laughs> He's like trying to gather Amrita from all over the world, and so he's, like, gotten what he can from here, and now he's planning to go to Japan and start a war as a way to harvest Amrita. How do you get um, Amrita? I don't know. It's here, here. We, we cannot gain Amrita if blood does not flow. Oh, so from just from killing people. I think from... It, it's the same way we're getting it, like, from the dead bodies is what he needs. Then why can't he get any hey, more? Hey, do you mind... I, I was watching something. Why can't we get any more of that? I, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> like, yeah, there's there's nobody left to kill in England. They killed them all. There's nobody left. That's it. Why are they keeping you prisoner then? What are you worth? Just take your Amrita. <laughs> I like how I just have like this like spirit guide with me, and like nobody's gonna like ask anything about that. <laughs> Then, uh, Wait, uh, did I go the right way? Wait a minute, because that was plot relevant. Yeah. Oh, I, shit, now I have to go back downstairs and explore that area. I think, to be honest, so far the plot is a little lacking. Oh, the plot in this whole game is lacking, but the gameplay is fun, the creatures are fun. So, like, that that that's really what you play it for. Oh, I'll, I'll wait to see the rest. Okay, we got a spear. A room cut. All right, so I'll go ahead and equip that in the second slot. It's uh, a little more powerful, but I prefer the sword. So yeah, it's not the Great that. Tower of London. It's the Great Hovel of London right now because they're still building it. Oh, I can't open this. Uh, seems the door must be open from the other side. You always say it seems. Companion Spirit to Fairy is a nice, smart way to link the folklore and mythology. Yeah, you're not right. Yeah, not wrong. Neat. You're not right. What not, a jerk I, you are. <laughs> you're not right. You're left. You are now a. I, or did I, you just call him a liberal cook? <laughs> no, I. I am. I am using my god powers to make him left handed. Shane, if he's on the left, destroy him with facts and logic. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Toko wanted to talk about his 
Goku gear there. Five Rangers read his captain named Marvelous. Okay, so Lewis. this was the bonus area. The best swords. That's, you you can tell Yo. that there's good loot in this because the chest is big and takes more seconds to open. Ooh, a battle axe. Are you sure it's not a bastard axe? It's a bastard battle axe. All right. Well, I'll just uh, I'm I, I'm not I I don't love slow gameplay, so I'll stick with the sword and the spear for now. But I'm it's cool that I found it and I can sell it in exchange for souls. <laughs> okay. Give me your souls Back upstairs. For this axe. An equivalent exchange, if I do say so myself. Uh, Joe is green. Uh. Swordsman is, uh, sorry, the blue is the best swordsman named Joe. Green is the doctor, inventor, and cook named Don. I think he has too many roles. I'm just going to say that. Don yeah, should have a He's few like lists. that uh, when, when you're working on a stage production and that one, like, girl who works backstage does, like, a million things, like costume creation. Mm. And, hey, we got a hat! Let's put on the hat! We got to put oh, on the Oh, that's hat. why they didn't think we were a guard yet. We didn't have the hat on. Yeah, there's no hat. Oh! Hello! Pip, pip, to doodly do. Pip, pip, to doodly do. Looking very spiffy, we are. That looks like a shit guard hat. I'm just gonna say, it looks too fancy. You can set the game to not show your headgear, but hello, why would you? Yeah. Hello. Look at that. Look at spiffy me. Spiffy indeed, this is gentlemen. Fashion souls now. No longer Neo. Yeah. It is now fashion souls. It's now you have to <laughs> defeat the demons by outstyling them. <laughs> I feel like there's a game like that. Um, why would there be a game? Go Kygor. Gorkager. Okay, found the hidden thing. Anyways, uh... More Yellow's gloves, and apparently Luka, these are better gloves Pink is the than best talker. Have. Her name is... Um... Talker is not... Oh, Shane, look at the difference between these gloves. Here we go. Behold. Wow. 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 One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Andrew, let me let's see if you can figure out which one of these is not like the rest. All right, the captain, swordsman, doctor, inventor, cook, gunwoman, talker. Well, one of them's a woman, and as <laughs> we all know, women do not belong. Satire. <laughs> Satire. I have to say that <laughs> because some people are insane. I'm neither left nor right. I am a lemon. Not the lemon people. The lemon people are back. Quick, bring out the AIDS. The lemon mm. AIDS. All right. I'm pretty good at this game. I'm, I'm kind of cleaving my way through here. Yeah, it's not like this is the beginning of the game. Oh, I was able to open. First time I played this game, I died a lot at this part. Oh, unlocked shortcut. Great. I mean, you should die a lot at this. You know, it's one of the things I, not, I, I do like. I can't tell if I like or dislike about uh the star wars jedi games is when you when you unlock a shortcut it tells you you unlocked a shortcut I, I like that honestly no, yeah um, I'm like, be I, because some of them are really weird it's like oh i, I cut a rope or yeah. like a thing shot up or like an elevator like it's good for them to tell you it's a shortcut so you don't like go that way thinking it's a new area yeah on That's the one hand i agree with that and then on the other hand it kind of pulls me out of the experience. Just a tiny fraction. Yeah, of okay. It, it's so. a teeny bit immersion breaking. I see what you're saying. But overall, I agree. I think it is probably better that they tell yeah. you. Because, yeah, I, I, of what I said, I think it prevents you from wasting time being like, oh, a new area, I'm going to go over there. It's like, oh, wait, I was already over here. It's like, if, if they say shortcut unlocked, then you know, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, chat, do you see that? We found a jacket that is almost double protective of, of our previous jacket. And you know what the difference was? It has a belt around it yeah people underestimate the importance of a good belt there's a show i like watching uh with you guys is form sucks called running man and it's a um, uh, the game korean show. game show yeah, yeah and one of the uh people on it uh more than once now has had a moment where his pants started falling down while he was giving someone a piggyback, and they're like, why don't you put a belt on? <laughs> Gary, what are because you doing? Because if he puts a belt on, they win. <laughs> it's funny, because they're a more conservative country than we are. You're a more conservative country than we are. I, I, I don't know how to answer <laughs> You're that. refusing to give up your guns. <laughs> Okay, again with the gloves being equal. That's see this area has like such a small intake yeah. of loot. It's just yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's medicine. It's equal. Nice. Ah, a, a, a better bastard. 
Yeah, by the way, Twitch, don't get mad at me. That's literally what it says in the game. Yeah, I don't think they can get mad at you for calling it a bastard okay, sword. That's a literal the, thing. What's the max amount of medicine we can hold? I, I don't know. Oh, there's a max amount? I know there's a max amount, mm. yeah. We're at 10 right now, and I have full health. I, I'm proud of myself. Hey. Yeah, good job. <laughs> okay, it's uh, time to equip the better bastard. <laughs> Not that useless bastard of before. This one is nine power stronger, but the bear. It doesn't matter. I'm not even parrying anybody. I'm just um, cutting them all. I want to give you AIDS. How... Baron, how is it rude to give you AIDS? <laughs> AIDS is a delicious chocolate to help older people. Oh, you're, you're not... it, it wasn't for older people. It was a weight loss. Right, chocolate. it was a weight loss. Yeah, thing. with the aid of AIDS. <laughs> It Are came you? out in the 80s. <laughs> was it the 80s? I thought it was the it, 90s. It was the mid 80s. It e came out. Either way, it wasn't the You know, when, the when AIDS, AIDS was very, very known and going on. A lot of crows here. Got a Garasu? No, no, it's, the, it's that one vulture. Uh, they all work for the vulture from Red Dead Redemption. Oh, shit. Ah, God. Okay, I this guy, I am. Actually landed a hit. I'm insulted, frankly. How dare you? You have besmirched my honor. Oh my god. Alex, um, Alexios off Troy. Oh, Thanks Alexios is here. Yay. Thanks for <laughs> gifting a subscription to Percy the Jackson. That is very kind of you. It's your, it's his first time gift something. So everybody, round of applause. Didn't Post he gift some emotes. last time? Uh, I think he subscribed last time. He oh, okay. So that's what it was. Okay. Awesome. Thank Welcome you, back, Alexios. Alexios. That's very nice of you. Uh, now you can use the Zaggard emotes. Use all your I, I like how I just go over here to not get shot, and the guy doesn't, like, come around to help his friend. He's just like, eh, any second he, he's now. Hold, he's holding the angle. Frank, are you okay over there while I do nothing He's not here? even turning. What was that all about? Okay, this guy's a little slow. It's, um, here you go. You're going up to the special place where you'll be a smart boy at last. Look, honestly, we were doing the world a favor. People like him should not procreate. The max might be 15 or something. Hmm. Can we upgrade it later or no? No, I don't think you can. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Battle axe that's better than our current um, battle axe, whatever it is. Currently what type of game are, are you streaming this time? Well, it, it's it's a, it's a Souls-like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a Souls-like, yeah. Uh... By the way, Big Myth, uh, I recently watched the Sea of Monsters video. It was hilarious. Loved it so much. That was oh, a fun you. one to work on. Yeah. You compliment both of us when you say that, because yeah. he did all the editing, and, it well, did. you know what I did. Yeah, he did everything. <laughs> I thought of everything else. Yeah. We watched... I really, really wish... Actually, this was what inspired us to start doing the watching stuff videos, because mm -hmm. when we were watching Sea of Monsters all together, we were cracking jokes constantly. It was so much fun. I was like, you know, I really wish I had recorded that. And so then when we did Gods of Egypt, I recorded it. And then when we did um, Halloween Kills, I recorded it, and then the creators of Halloween Kills would not let me put that on YouTube. And That's why uh, we have Patreon. We've also recorded our reaction to the Northmen. And my, unfortunately, my fault. I have not sent it over. That's all right. I mean, the guy who I had editing those videos kind of disappeared. I don't know. I hope he's okay, but like uh, maybe just the videos were like too stressful for him, which I get. But uh, I can probably have Taha give it a try. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. Uh... He does good on the gaming highlights, so, yeah. Alright, so basically, in case you couldn't tell, this is a very Japanese game. No. It is funny where, like, that we're... I mean, this isn't a necessity, but it would have been pretty cool, I think, if we didn't hold the European swords like katanas during this segment. Yeah, it, if it we held make... them more, you know, the way a knight would hold it. Yeah, it, it, I agree. It would like, a knight would hold it more like this, wouldn't he? Um, like, or, or, I, I'm not sure exactly. I think it depends on the sword, but from this, what I know, they didn't aim. This is for the definitely throw. katana stance, which I yeah. get because that's the character model for later. But uh, you know, I I, I love I actually really like that we start in Europe and then go to Japan later because it's it's kind of a cool contrast. But uh, I I do think it would be really cool if like they had little details like that. Too. I think uh, okay, this uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this challenge. Yeah, I think Europeans tend to held, held their swords more vertically or horizontally. Actually, I'll take this challenge die. on after I kill some more guys, get the potentially best gear I can get before taking that challenge. And we also might want to checkpoint again, just in case. Yeah, see if I can find one. Well, there's that... Of course, if I, if I do the checkpoint, it's going to respawn everybody. Mm -hmm. Right now, everyone from earlier than where we currently are is dead. <laughs> 
Can we even level up yet? Is there even a point to getting Amrita right now? Because it didn't... I mean, you can... It, I don't it, think we can, but... Eh, it'll carry over well. to later. Yeah, right? it will. It so. will. Um, um, the past few weeks, I'm trying to uh, to watch your stream, oh. but college is killing me. That's fine, Katalo. Oh, well, you're here now. Hey. That's why I put the Actually, the, up. the past two weeks, we didn't have a stream, did we? No, we <laughs> didn't for two weeks. Yeah, ago. so I there you a, go. <laughs> I need a break because I needed to work on some other yeah, stuff. Yeah, like we, we finished Bramble the Mountain King, and then we decided to take... Hey, you come here because I'm not fighting you at the same time as that other guy. You did do some gift subs, but uh, something happened with your account. It was so weird. That's why I was away for a while. I missed both of you very much. Well, we were gone uh -huh. for two weeks, too, so... Yeah, so... You didn't miss it, you know, I, I, You know, we picked a good time to take a break. <laughs> you, no, I am... Okay, so these guys hit hard. No, you don't say. The guys with the big, heavy weapons... Okay, you know what? You're gonna be an asshole about it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to just avoid getting hit, because if he hits me while I'm blocking, I will block it, but it'll take a lot of my stamina. Yeah. Man, um, we have lightning quick reflexes. How the hell did they catch us? <laughs> How did they catch us? I want to know. Oh used, shit, oh shit, oh shit. They used the European Medicine, rating. Thank you. Finally had to use some. It's fine. These are like the toughest guys in this area. God, he has a lot of stamina. Fuck. Nope. Okay, I'm out of stamina. See, <laughs> so there's two of these guys over there. That's going to be a yeah, that's tough be one. Tough. Okay. Um, hey, I got two medicine. Nice. Actually, I think I have a way to handle those guys over there. I'm going to try something. Uh, let's see. And if I fail, I'll just give you the controller. Before okay. I go to the gas station, I just Stone. finished shockingly similar stories, and when I got home, I'm watching your stream. That's a win for me, I guess. Yay! Awesome! Well, thank you for watching that. I put a lot of uh, effort into that. Uh, I edited it myself, and I'm very proud of it. Mm -hmm. Gord, I'm not slow. I'm just okay. from London. So I'm going to see if I can attract one of their attention without the other. So I, I equipped Rock in yes. one of the slots. Yeah. No! Damn it! <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? We're here. We're here now. We're in the end. Oh, <laughs> that guy. Oh, it's a swordsman and a spearman, not axeman. Okay. So <clears throat> that means they won't hit. Oh wait, no, that guy has an axe. Okay, never mind. He will hit as hard as an axeman. <laughs> I was about to say they won't hit as hard as an axeman, but they just. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Yes, one down. Okay, I, I can handle this. I just handled one of you earlier. The advantage to you being slow is it gives me an opening to hit you. Ooh, I got a better bastard sword, but I can't equip it right now. You cannot pause the game. Even when equipping stuff, the game is still actively happening. <laughs> yes! Did it! Nice. Alright, nice! Oh, and now we got some of their armor. Hell yeah. Okay. That'll be very useful. Sweet. Alright, uh... let's equip. Can you explain Amrita? I know that in uh, Hinduism it's something like Ambrosia. It's there's not an easy way to explain it. It's it's like magical energy or soul energy, basically. Mm. Yeah. So okay. that, that's about I it. I want to arrange. This think of by... it as just basically like mana. It's very vague, but it's used okay. for soul magic. Basically. Where's that better bastard sword I got? Is it? Did one? I not get one? You did. Isn't the one that's fifty? We're, we're here. Uh, go this? up, up, up. Oh, there's two that are 50. Yeah, I, I, I currently have an, a 51 equipped, so... Oh. I guess I didn't get a better one. Yeah, maybe you didn't. Alright. Weird. Alright, well, in the second slot, I currently have this spear, which is 81. Maybe just in case I'll equip this really strong battle. Wait, line. there's a stronger one. Oh, there is? Oh, yeah, okay. Just in case, who knows? Maybe it'll be useful. All right. uh, so it's just a magical substance of sort. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Uh... All right, now some actual new armor. <laughs> oh my god. That, that's actually pretty accurate. Hello, can't see anyone. <laughs> it's okay. We still have that very spiffy hat. That's actually pretty accurate for uh, medieval European armor. Uh, having all the uh, plating, uh, although yeah, it would be very heavy, so we shouldn't be able to run anymore. His gloves are exactly the same. This uh, the top one is oh oh yeah here we go, boom baby Ooh. yeah now we're a real man. But we can't get rid of the hat. Of course not. The hat is spiffy. 
The head it is, doesn't matter. We don't have anything else. The head is that. a cannon event. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got uh, over here. And then it ends the game right there. Ah, okay, so I could, uh... I think we should. Checkpoint. The guys will respawn if I do, though. That's fine. We're not gonna go Is back, Is this where I was earlier? No. That's why I said that. Ah, uh, okay. In that case, I am gonna go back just to, like, clear out anyone I didn't already kill. Alright. Because I believe I can do it. Oh, there's also this. Uh, I guess that's a shortcut. Oh, yeah, I've already killed the guys here. Or, oh yeah, this is is this is the heavy guy I killed earlier. Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah. All right, what's down here? Nothing here. There's gotta be something down here. You remind me of Kenshiro for some reason. Uh. He just made me think of Kenshi from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> One of my favorite characters, by the way. I'm glad he's coming back in MK1. Yeah, how I saw your video for MK1. You seemed mixed on it. Yeah, I was, you know, I, I had a bit of a reaction to them not having a tag team anymore, which some people agree with me on, and some people are like, like, this was already known, and I'm like, well, I wasn't, like, keeping up with all the press of the game, because I don't want, like, stuff spoiled. I like to watch, like, the big, like, announcements like that. Um, so, like, I, I don't think that's really a criticism to say, like, how did you not already know? It's like, because I didn't follow every fucking thing that was going on. But I, I get some people are like, you know, like, some people are like, no, the, just because of what you said doesn't mean the game won't be good. And it's like, yeah, I know it won't, it doesn't mean it won't be good. I just, I have, I don't have a lot of trust for them after what they did in the last game. And so I'm, so I'm being a little hard on them right now. But if it comes out and it's fantastic, I'll be thrilled and I'll happily tell everyone. <laughs> As one of the YouTubers I know says, winning cures everything. Exactly. So. Like, MK11, I hated so much. And as someone who's played every Mortal Kombat game and loved most of them. Uh, MK11 made me really upset. I finished the story, and then I never played it again. Oh! Two guys again. Yeah, whatever. I'm not intimidated anymore. <laughs> come on, get over here. Come on. Just oh shit! Oh shit! No, no, don't come over here! <laughs> I got By the way, our max is for medicine is not 15. Yeah, clearly. How much is it? Jeez. Like, I'm... And it's cool that we can hold this. It's 99. <laughs> it actually it might be. I don't know. Medicine takes a second to use. So yeah. You want to make sure you're kind of clear before you do it. Yeah. Again, like playing Hall and Fuck, 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 fuck! Okay, I need another one. These guys are tougher than the last ones. Either that, or I'm just not doing as well because it's a little harder to see in this area than it was earlier. Oh, shit! They do seem like they are kind of tougher. Okay. Oh, damn. I thought he was dead. He'll be dead in the next okay. hit. Fuck! God damn. You need to heal. Yeah. I was just trying to finish him already, but no. Okay, he's yeah, out. One down. No! Oh. You're fine, you're fine. Oh, I thought I fell into water. You can't swim in this yeah. game. Don't fall into water. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, one of the few streams I saw for this okay, game... Okay, we've got some... Ooh, I, I got some of their gauntlets. Nice. nice. One of the few streams I saw for this game is the area that's all water. Uh, yeah, I hated that area. whoop Motherfucker! <laughs> I, uh, it's the whip sound. whoop <laughs> whoop you can't yeah, do the water it, water in this game will make you consider stopping playing this game. So. Well, that depends on how much you like a challenge. Yeah. Well, uh, the thing is, water is not a challenge. You just fall and immediately die. It's annoying as shit. Well, the, the challenge is. Uh, I know the challenge is yeah. not falling in, but yeah. it, it just you know it it doesn't feel like a fair way to die. It's like this dude is a pirate. He's also wearing heavy armor. Yeah, but, like, throughout the whole game. Yeah, I know. Like, I you could be butt-ass naked, and you fall in the water, you die. There's a scene in a cutscene where he swims in full armor. I just remembered. Yeah, that's... Like, yeah, we, we haven't seen it yet, but it will happen. So, like, hey! <laughs> like... Okay, now we have a better bastard. Good. The Better Bastard Bureau. 
And a better axe. <laughs> the better bastard bureau. Exactly. Okay. So triple B. Yeah. B -b 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 -b. B -b it's called <laughs> Alright, let's um let's see what we got over here. Um let's I like see. to fully explore. The villains are Space Empire Zangek, the leader Emperor War War oh, Grill, and three generals underneath them. Oh sweet! Getting some good armor. This is good because the the boss is pretty tough, if I recall. So be as ready uh, as possible. I'm happy for Andrew and glad he can come to the upcoming VidCon. Maybe Shane is coming too. Uh, I would. I'm not. Sh I pro. I don't think I can because it's next Wednesday, right? Or next Thursday. It's um from the 21st to. I'm gonna be there 21st and 22nd. That's when I'm. Yeah. Uh and. I think uh, that weekend I'm going to be busy helping Claire. Uh, her mom is moving, so I'm yeah. going to be helping her. And on top of that, I have a bunch of other stuff going on, and there's some projects I have to get finished, and I can't go yeah. on a vacation to do those. Maybe next year, like, he and I will plan it, like, ahead yeah. of time, and it'll be better. Like, one of the reasons I'm going to VidCon, I wanted to go anyway, but one of the reasons I'm going is I had, I had to go to L.A. for a family reason anyway, so I figured, hey, might as well go to VidCon. Well, I'm here, you know, stay in L.A. a few extra days and then go to VidCon. Yeah, I, re I really did want to go. I just can't, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, to be honest, okay. I'm sad because I can't I come to VidCon because I'm in the Philippines and don't have the money to go there. Apparently all my money is with my university, uh, oh. but maybe someday I'll come. Oh, that would be cool. Well, uh, you know, Will does got family in the Philippines, so I might go there at some point and then maybe I'll see you. <laughs> I got recognized in Georgia, remember that? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> and you didn't invite me to go to the Philippines? How dare you? How dare you? I haven't been yet. What are you... <laughs> you know how much I love eating Filipino people. This is why you don't get invited. <laughs> what, I don't, what, what is wrong? They're delicious. Wouldn't you want to be delicious? Okay. Bonus area, clearly. There any problem? This is just where this guy's like there's no more on Rita, but there's some monsters some... like that to fight wars. Huh. Anyways, this guy was talking about no more on Rita. There's on Rita all over the yeah, place. Yeah, you guys are so wasteful. It's like the guy who throws away his pizza crust. It infuriates me. I love pizza crust. Exactly. Jeez. Yes. Poor guys. Well, at least they're dead. In death, they will not suffer. We got some stones, Andrew. You know what's funny? I'm so used to doing this in Japan, I forgot that when I do it here, the guys are just gonna speak English, and I don't, and I can hear what they say. <laughs> oh yeah. In, in Japan, everyone's gonna speak Japanese. There will be subtitles. Don't worry. About, I figured, yeah. yeah. So on an on an Amrita bonus in an area where I can't use the Amrita yet. That's the point. <gasps> you know, it's to keep it for later. Uh, Alright. Now, while it's your action for, for Mortal Kombat 12, or Mortal Kombat 1, whichever one you want to call it, I'm laughing out loud because Andrew is effing pissed and it. <coughs> uh, I show it with my best friend and he loves his reaction. He's, he's not going to buy it anytime soon. By the way, any suggestions for Mortal Kombat games that I can play with myself and my friends? MK9. Uh, you have to get MK9. That's the that, best one. That kind of depends on which consoles you have. Well, MK9 is for PS3. I'd be surprised if you don't have, like, a 3 or a 4 currently. Um, MK uh, Shaolin Monks is great for, uh, for like, co-op. The only thing about it that's a little tricky is you have a shared health bar. Mm. So, um, you know, just be, uh, be patient with one another. Don't get mad at your friend when he is the reason you lose. <laughs> no, that's when you should get mad at him. It's all his fault. You hear the reason I. I died. really want a Shell and Monks remake or sequel. That would be wonderful. I think people. Shell and Monks is so good. <laughs> Just remake it. I think it. I think part of the reason is one they want to make. They don't want to. They. They don't really do remakes. Uh, license so. it out to one of the companies that specifically does remakes. Like you don't have to do anything. Yeah. Just reuse the voice lines and license it out. It's fine. The other thing is, from what I can. Oh tell, shit! Oops. Oh shit! Oh uh, shit! No! God damn it. Okay, see, he got me trapped in these fucking chairs. <laughs> it's okay, we have plenty of medicine. Although there's is somebody shooting at me? Yes. 
shit, shit, yeah, okay. Don't try to block his attacks, he fucking drains my stamina. Oh, now he's out of stamina! Ha ha! You fool. Fuck, I ran out of stamina, I couldn't finish him off. <laughs> you, yeah, you can if, do it. if they're low on stamina and they're blocking, you can, like, hit them enough to drain their stamina, and then they're totally open for yeah. attacks. Basically like the guard system in, uh, Star Wars. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, where are you, you piece of... Seriously, where he, are he's you? He's through that door. Ah. Um... Hell yeah, I have a PS3 and a PS4. Oh, well, All right, well, you. there you go. Play MK9. The swimming happened in a previous scene. You can't use previous scene's powers. <laughs> it wasn't in a previous scene, though. It's gonna happen later. <laughs> uh, MK9 has uh, some nice stats, if you know what I mean. <laughs> ah, interesting. Uh, the last thing I told you was that they got access to SPD true power. Okay. Um, uh, our fun starts better. with us screaming. Ah. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think they'll uh, make a re do a sequel or a remake of. Uh, oh, Shower we could. We could look how much better this helmet is, but look how much no, our less spiffy. We it have is. to keep the hat on for the whole. Very well. Thing. We will remain spiffy <laughs> unless there's a boss that's really. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep the helmet for problems, but for now, the spiffiness shall remain. <laughs> We must always be the top dog with our top hat. That is the way. Like Top Cat, if anyone remembers that show. I don't even know that show. Yeah. It's one of the Chuck Jones cartoons. Who? Oh my god. I, I didn't remember. How dare you? I didn't learn the names of people who made the cartoons. Looney Tunes? Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know who Yeah, I didn't know who or, made Looney Tunes. I never learned who made Looney Tunes because it honestly doesn't affect me. Well, either way, thank you, Chuck Jones. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'm glad that... I'm, cause also, on it, I, I think Flintstones also are... Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Wasn't Flintstones Hanna-Barbera? Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay. <laughs> Top cat was Hanna Barbera. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, if you said Hanna Barbera. Yeah. Okay. Know. Hey, we got a better. We got a better hat. Yes, we can still be spiffy. With stronger spiffy. Maintain the spiff. This one is slightly it's not more as good clean. as this, but sh shut up. It doesn't matter. This is a Soulsborne stream. Ooh, we have a better. Oh no, same bastard. Please so. go to Philippines someday. I'll be waiting for you. And if it's okay, can I ask where, uh, which city or province Wilda lives? I um. She doesn't live there, does she? She just. She doesn't, doesn't live there. Yeah. She just has family there, and I honestly don't know, so I wouldn't be able to answer that. Right Do now. we have sports? Uh, do you? mean us as America or I'm confused what you mean by do we have sports? Yeah, sometimes I mix up Chuck Jones with Hanna-Barbera because it's like the same era. Of yeah, animation. that makes sense. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by do we have sports? Because if you're asking about America... No, yes. we, we don't have any sports anywhere. Yeah. There are, sports don't exist. That is a a social construct fabricated by the man. <laughs> it's made to keep you The down. Matrix is real. Um, I don't like how wide open this area uh, is. No, it's totally fine. I'm, I do not appreciate. Yeah, look, Andrew, you got ten rocks. What's the worst that could happen? That's true, I do have ten rocks. Uh, no, we don't play sports. Oh, wh why is the area shaking? Neither of us is very ah, athletic. Ah, good evening, so Derek the Executioner. Why are you all the way up here? And the executioner, shouldn't you be down in the... Yeah, you also probably area? shouldn't be wearing a bunch of armor. Executioners were... Yeah, like... They they, they weren't usually soldiers. Well, to be I fair, know. he... You know, look. Derek does what Derek does. Derek... He do be swinging that axe, though. <clears throat> you think you're a match for me, Derek? I mean, you're clearly on some serious horse steroids. People do not naturally become this buff. <laughs> That's true, they don't. All right, bye, Derek. Anyway, now that now we finished the game, it, uh, guys, this was a great playthrough. Great run. But now we're going to have uh, to move on dude, to. You're gonna get pneumonia. Kelly, put on some clothes. Kelly, for God's sake, put on some clothes. That is. <laughs> we are so spiffy. You cannot beat me. I have the hat. Oh, he's now. Gonna... Now he's gonna be even colder. Look, <laughs> dude, you're gonna. Pneumonia Look, is a thing. Voldemort over here. <laughs> What's the secret of the- I don't know what's going on in the story! 
In what way is our character connected to this? They forgot to tell us anything about our character. Yeah, seriously. Did he just... Oh. Uh, I thought uh, he was already guy. down, Kelly. You didn't have to... That was very rude. Oh, you're bringing him back? Yep. Now oh, he's a... He's an Oni. Demon executioner. He's a demon executioner. I can't think. You know, I feel like the whole game would be over if Kelly had just killed me right there. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't kill me. What, what was the point? Ah! Ooh, that hurt. <clears throat> Your turn. Oh, jeez. Like I me... told you, this is not an easy boss. <laughs> Here you go, at the end of the level. Oh, Figure thanks, it out. Thanks, You really... Oh, that's... <laughs> that's what you get for dying earlier. Okay, uh, how right, do you um, change weapons again? Uh, you change weapons... Whole... That, that. That's how you change weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna try out some. We have all our most powerful stuff equipped, and I've been to every area, so, you know. You you have the most powerful stuff in this whole segment equipped, except for the headpiece. But we must remain spiffy. <laughs> like, we have a full set of, like, heavy guard armor, so that's really good. And yet I still died in two hits. <laughs> okay, tell me if I'm going the right way or the wrong way. The right way is upstairs. Yeah, it's a good thing we did that checkpoint. Imagine if we had to go yeah, all the way back to yeah, the first yeah. one. That would have been a goddamn nightmare. Alright, you can just avoid this guy. Or you can fight him. Uh, what's the uh, dash button again? X. Quick tap X for dash, hold it for run. Okay. Anyway. What are those symbols on the bald guy? Well, obviously, uh, those symbols are the nursery rhyme. For Kelly and Melly went to the swelly to buy their doggy a bone. I, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's Europe, you know? Everything European is nursery rhyme. That is the law. Oh, okay. We're still good. We're still yeah, good. As soon as you, know, you could just move to an area where that guy... Which isn't in his range, and as we know, that guy won't move to have you in his range. <laughs> What's good is, yeah, the weapon you're using does drain his stamina faster than the sword would. But Damn. I think it also drains yours. <laughs> I saw him! Did you now? You, you saw the guy that your friend is actively fighting? <laughs> nice! Honestly, for first time playing, not bad. Everything's either equal or weaker to what you're wearing, but... The thing is, we can't really grind. We already have all the best stuff, yeah. and we can't level up yet. <laughs> Alright, well, it's... Alright, well, you have full health, so that's great. Alright, it's just gonna start, uh... Oh, oh yeah, you, you have to beat him in human form first, that's I fine. guess. Now, he, in this form, I'd say, oh, wow, that axe does a lot of damage. <laughs> I didn't know it did that much damage. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to try yeah, using it. Yeah, uh, fair enough. Maybe I, you'll be the slow build. Yeah. Which is ironic, because usually I'm the one who wants to play the stealth character in yeah. games. And you want to play the guy who just runs in and hits you. Well, uh, to be fair, you can't stealth bosses, so you got to have some kind of build for that. <laughs> All right, he's out. And, and now he's just yeah oh, they they know they're like you saw the cutscene you you don't need to see it again I I appreciate that yeah it does more damage than the sword okay good so far very good oh I yeah, thought that just, hit me just just don't let him hit you at all <laughs> like because he is super OP I'm gonna back off because I. I didn't want to use up too much stamina. If he does hit you, I think it'll just drain all your stamina, and then he'll do a follow-up hit. Oh! You're doing great, actually! Okay, watch out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, circle triangle? Oh, yeah, you can do a super attack. Here we go. Boom. Okay. Wait, that's not the weapon I'm using. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I guess because cutscene. Oh! I forgot that you get to just do that and win. Okay, good job, you beat the boss <laughs> on the first try! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> okay, I don't count that because that's like a cutscene win. 
Yeah, that, you, you only had to get him to half health, to be fair. <laughs> but that was still impressive. Yeah, Granted, oh, I got you all the best shit in the whole area. Well, thank you. <laughs> Dies by cutscene. So he's got his own little spirit yeah, yeah. thing. And he took yours. Well, so you that means no that? more that means no more super attacks until you get a new one. So I guess she knows where to find Amrita and shit. So that was his goal. I guess because we Again, killed. the game could have explained that to us instead of telling us about the Queen of England and the Spanish Armada. Yeah. See, look, look, he, 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 here he goes into the water after getting shot, by the way. Er. Yeah, we did get shot. Yeah, floating with all this armor on. No, you should be sinking immediately. I guess that's one of her feathers. What, are they showing us something from our past right now? Death is an entry. No, it's the beginning of a noir movie. Guy <laughs> lying dead in the water and thinking about the past. <laughs> yeah, let's see? Bullshit! Why can't we swim? Yeah. If he can swim in the heaviest armor in the game w with a gunshot. <laughs> it's the hat, Andrew. The hat lets you swim, but only in That's specific That's true. We water. are very spiffy. But only in oceanic water. Our fashion is so great, it literally elevates us above the water. Derek, more How like did Dare Dick. You get a pirate ship? Uh, we stole it. Hey, uh, where's all that armor I worked my ass off for? Uh, we sold it to buy the ship. <laughs> it's like in Mafia 2, when just during a cutscene, and I gave all my money to my sister. Fuck you! I spent hours getting that! <laughs> you know what? You're an asshole. We're traveling by map. That uh, ship was like, nope. The fastest way to travel. <laughs> and we didn't stop to help them or anything. <laughs> I just happened to be on the one ship that made it. <laughs> That's some plot convenience right there. What is that? Is that you forgot thing? to explain anything, game. Yeah, so far the writing that is really, really bad. An ironic twist of what? What, are we from the east? He's, he's trying to get his... No, I know that, but why is it an ironic twist then? Like, you're not from the east, you're from the west. The east is Japan. No, I get that, but why is it ironic that we're here? What well, makes it ironic? There's not... You're ironic. Like, like I, of course, the, the character looks like Geralt of Rivia. He does, doesn't he? And the real historical guy did not look like that, by the way. Yeah. That's... Before I begin my preparations, I leaf once more through a curious book. Okay, so this is a tutorial. I recommend you play it. <laughs> it's actually good that it's your turn right now because I do not need this tutorial, but I think you. Okay. Have. All right. So you. So now you get to pick your preferred weapon. Mm. I'll let you pick. Uh, what does heart mean? Is that just HP or? Is it says attribute bonus heart plus one. Um. Yeah, I think that's just health. Yeah. I personally, uh, in my playthrough, just use the sword all the time. I thought I would use dual swords a lot, but I just find myself using the sword. Hmm. Mm, interesting. Oh, I do like that they had the uh, the Odachi as a separate. Yeah. Odachi is like a a demon sized sword. Yeah. 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 Yeah, actually, that's what I use as my offhand weapon, just in case. Yeah, the Odachi were made to... Uh, one of the things that um, Katanas had trouble with mm -hmm. was if someone was riding on horseback or if they had armor. Oh, that armor. makes sense. Like So Odachis were made to actually... you think they'd be made to cut straight through it like this, but no, it was made to go underneath and cut up through the horse and the rider at the same time. <laughs> and because of that, Japanese uh, horse horsemen would actually start making metal saddles. Yeah, that sounds about right. I did not know that about the Odachi. Yeah. Um, yeah, often the enemies who drop Odachis in this game are huge, like, demons yeah, that who makes are sense. wielding them. Uh, and it's fun to see your character. Does it matter like what the preferred weapon is? I'm not sure. It just, it, it'll boost your attribute at the beginning, mm, okay. I guess. So maybe that's what I personally picked sword. You can pick whatever. I'm going to go with the uh, Kusa, uh, the, Kusarigami. Yeah, okay. Uh, Kusarigama. All right. Dexterity. Right. That looks fucking cool. The sailor from mem uh, from the memoir seems to have spent quite some time in Zipangu and succeeded in keeping the company of samurai. 
He writes in detail of establishments in Zupongu called Dojo, where people including samurai congregate for instruction in the martial discipline. <laughs> Just reading the sailors' vivid accounts, I feel as though as I am there, in the flesh, watching these warriors as they train. <laughs> when we had ten rocks, someone commented, you have twin, ten Dwayne Jones. <laughs> twin Dwayne Jones. Uh, mythology guy, are you accepting suggestions? Yeah, always. Go ahead. <clears throat> the samurai is master of many armaments and trains for combat in every imaginable scenario. If I were to use another weapon, which one would I choose? Ah, so we get to pick a second. I'll pick sword for you. So that okay, cool. Um, my girlfriend showed me the live action Moana update. Everyone's coming back except the voice actress of Moana's being recast. I effing hate it. I hate it either way. It's a waste of time. Uh, yeah. Like uh, I, I personally uh, chose Kato because I wanted the strength bonus. Yeah, so. I'm gonna see. What, strength see. is like how much melee damage yeah, you do. I figured. Skill, I'm guessing, is uh, your stamina. Uh, wait, uh, strength and dexterity both affect your melee damage. Strength mm -hmm. also affects how much you can carry. Yeah, so you can equip better gear as a result. Um, what, uh, do you, what do, I'm guessing skill is for stamina. What's or, well, actually, skill is also for melee. It, it's different types of weapons. Yeah. Skill affects swords, which I use, so mm -hmm. obviously. Spirit, I think, is more for, like, using your spirit companion, which I only do for the ultimate attacks, really. Um, there are other little things you can do, but I don't really use I'm going to go with the, the bird. Okay, fair. Yeah, Skill is good. It's a good thing to have. So, all right, uh, it's like, are you sure now? Dexterity, yes, hard, and skill. Those are actually all good stats to have up, so yeah. Uh, if you want your first time playing, we're playing the tutorial. Yeah, we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, do, do that. All right, and while you do that, I'll catch um, up on real the Real quick, because someone said about the Moana video. I didn't have this thought that you had about it, but when I watched your video at the ending when you said the main reason is I want them to do other stuff in the... Like, you don't even have to do a Moana 2 or a Maui movie, but anything else from that universe, uh, from that mythology would be a good movie and a good idea. And I'm like, yeah, why don't we get more of that? Like, when they did the Little Mermaid remake, I thought I immediately thought that because I saw your Moana video. Yeah. Like, it's like, just do another story. You can even, if you want, it, like like I said, like you could make a Maui sequel and have him encounter other Polynesian myth characters. That could be entertaining. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I? Oh, uh, you have to equip it. Uh, press the uh, touchpad button. Oh. Yeah, that's a... Equipment, melee weapon, one you would probably want to start with. Wooden sword. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. In here. Yeah. I want to X out of the menu. Oh, I didn't realize I was yeah. going to that all over. And then how do I equip it? It's funny how they don't, like, uh, give you the weapon you chose as your primary weapon. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. You don't have a ranged weapon. Yeah, no, I was so. just making sure both the squares were... Alright, so your objective is on the compass in the top, right? Hmm, okay. See, now it makes sense for us to have this stance and... Look. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so it's basically teaching you the basics. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Derek, more like dick. <laughs> Andrew, what's your favorite Filipino fo food? Um, rice. <laughs> That's not a dig at Filipino food. I just legitimately love rice. And it's something Wilda's family actually really likes about me. <laughs> I mean, rice do be pretty good, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, seasick is pretty good, too. Oh, yeah, seasick is, is good. Yeah. The... Buh, buh, buh. Aren't Odachi swords sometimes called horse slayers? Well, yes. given what Shane just said, I would think so. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they, that is one of their other names. In fact, I think right. at one point... It, uh, it's teaching you how to dodge. You have to yeah. dodge his attack. <laughs> it's easier to dodge if you lock onto him, by the way. Just, like... It wants you to block an attack and dodge an attack, so... Oh, I guess that's all right. Never mind. <laughs> right, I think what they want you to block and then and dodge then defeat them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what is this? Stances? Oh yeah, there are stances. Mm, mid stance, um, high stance, and low stance. Okay. Yeah. They also uh, have stances in uh, Ghost of Tsushima, dodging. but in Ghost of Tsushima, there's way more of a 
purpose to them. Again, in this game, I pretty much always just use the regular stance. But, like, yeah, if you find yourself liking the other stances, then, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, they said, let's see, tri so it's triangle, square, and X. Uh, I did a attack, defense, speed. Okay, then. I will try the, uh... Oh, yeah, actually, I do use the low stance sometimes because there are some enemies that, like, crawl around after you, and it's easier to hit them in the low stance. Yeah. I want to see you talk about Brazilian gods, uh, specifically Tupa and Anhunga. They're the coolest ones. Okay, I could... I'll make a note of that. Took a picture. Uh, yeah, I've I've been talking about. I mainly use Brazilian creatures for the crazy creatures videos because Brazil has some really interesting monsters. I was gonna soon. I'm gonna do uh, one on there. They have a sleep paralysis demon in Brazilian myth. So hmm. thinking about doing that. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, I could look into their gods. Uh, Keepals. Okay, so um, what happens is basically every time you finish an attack pattern. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to see a little swirl of chi around you. Yeah. If you press R1 right when the chi enters you, you'll pulse out some ki. This is good for, um, sometimes it can stun enemies, but mainly it's good for getting rid of, like, sometimes there's corruption on the ground, and it this will get rid of it. Yeah, you see that ki go into you? So, uh. yeah. Just hit once, and then, yeah, just uh, get the timing down. Oh, you did it. There. If you hear fear, that means you did it. Okay. I thought that would be a little harder. Yeah, well, uh, I think they wanted it to be mm. easy to use because there's a lot of times to use it, like to get rid of these corrupted zones, like what uh, you see right here. Uh, when you're in the hero, key recovery speed is greatly reduced. It's good to get rid of those zones because you're if what's annoying about those zones is your stamina doesn't recover while you're in them. There you go. You got rid of it. Oh, All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you picked it up pretty quick. Nice. So, um, yeah, these are, like, Japanese, like, zombies. Now, I would love to tell you the story behind these Japanese zombies. Here's the problem. They're just called dwellers in this game. And there's about 50 types of undead creatures in Japanese myths, so I cannot, for the life of me, tell you which one those are supposed to be. <laughs> I see. For now, let's just assume they're unreal, which are spirits who were wrongfully killed and so are restless and come back from the dead. <laughs> Though so Unreal are more ghost-like than zombie-like, so again, it's hard to be sure. <laughs> uh, next tutorial. At the Little Mermaid remake, Disney wanted to make an animated movie about Iara, the Brazilian mermaid, once, but it was canceled. I mentioned that uh, in my Little Mermaid video. There, there was a recently announced uh, Little Mermaid, uh, not Little Mermaid, but a thing from Disney that I think is called Iara. Okay, well, cool. Hopefully um, that comes out. I would like to see that. I talked about that in my Little Mermaid movie. I know about Iara. She's a legendary uh, mermaid in Brazil. Okay, so now we can... Oh, we have ranged weapons now. Yeah, there you go. Uh, how do you swap to... Uh, first get out of the menu. Uh, you just uh, hold down L2. Ah, okay. Alright, so that's the gun, and then to switch ranged weapons, you know how to do it, right? There. Got it. Yep. And you hold down R2 to draw the bow and release to shoot. Oh, you don't need to hold or, down oh, R2. Just... Sorry, I'm mixing it up with Ghost of Tsushima. Um, at least I think I am. But yeah, so. Obvious, easy. I like how the... The gun can't be wooden because it needs to be an actual gun. To fly. Yeah, it needs to. Even though it. technically it still is wooden. <laughs> ah, there's multiple types of ammo. Okay. But, uh, can I ask what's the plot of the game? We've been joking about how much we don't know what the plot of. <laughs> Basically, the villain is trying to gather up Amrita, which is life energy. And he's going, he, he did it in Europe, and now he's going to Japan to do it again. We are trying to stop him, and he kidnapped our spirit buddy, and we're trying to get our spirit buddy back. Okay, what, what does it want me to do? Because I've, I've done everything. Did you zoom? 
That's this. Did you switch ammo? Yeah, I, that's yeah. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what's your guys' favorite Pokemon? Mine is Mega Charizard X and the Charizard line. My favorite Pokemon are Charizard and Mewtwo. You? Charizard is overrated. It's Dragapult all the I'm way. going to kill you. Dragapult is your favorite Pokemon? Yes. A, it's a dragon. B, it's a ghost type. And C, it has a very... I love everything about it. It's It's got I'm really good typing. It's this got... up. I don't know who Dragapult is. <laughs> it's from Sword and Shield. Okay. Um, here, I'll show you. Uh, it's okay. I'm pulling it up right now. Oh, that guy! The fucking jet plane. <laughs> he's technically a stealth bomber. Um, but yeah, he's my favorite. I, yeah, I, I get the appeal. I, yeah, it's it's a little bit silly, though. Cause I, I it love it like a goddamn airplane. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to. It's a stealth I know, bomber. exactly. I mean, and I also like how it's uh, the pre-evolutions live inside its head, and uh, it says canonically that they look for dragapults because they fire them off as missiles, and that way they can die happy. Maybe you're supposed to shoot that thing. Was the idea. There you go. Oh, and there's another one. So, yeah. Yeah, you were supposed to be killing these dwellers. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. There we go. Alright. Uh, bye bye. The next episode is the introduction to my favorite villain in all of Sentai, which for some reason they didn't include when Power Rangers adapt to Cold Geiger. Okay? Uh, let's see, shortcut. Yeah. How do I. What oh, are you it, trying to oh, do? It, wait. How do I choose which one to shortcut it as? Or does it... it you you select... Okay, oh, well, oh, you, you're yeah, currently yeah, yeah. selecting the shortcut slot. And then yeah, you, okay. That's what you do. How do I... Can you give your opinion on the use of mythology? What do you mean? Can one say Greek or Norse mythology, even though the Hellenists as such are... Oh, you mean use of the word mythology. Okay, huge misconception in the world. Mythology does not mean fake. And I un completely get why the misconception is there, because the word myth has two different meanings. Myth can mean fake, but it can also just mean an abbreviation of a mythology story. Mythology simply means supernatural beliefs, and they have to be beliefs, so you can't call Star Wars a mythology, <laughs> because no one believes in that. Mythology means supernatural beliefs that are meant to explain certain phenomena. So, my religion is a mythology. Every religion is a mythology. It all is. Like, so, it, does, it doesn't matter. And that's why I'm so sick of people getting offended when I make a Hindu mythology video or a Christian mythology video, and they go, that's not mythology. It's like, yes, it is. What am I supposed to do? Because I... Use cool. the oh. item. That's yeah, what they okay. wanted you to do. So yeah, that's that's my opinion on that. I I completely get where the misconception is, but you know, it's mythology doesn't mean fake. It doesn't. And there are some people who are so narcissistic who literally go, You can talk about every religion but mine, and it's like, no, that's not how this works. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to talk about all of them. It's like you, you are not, your religion is not so special that it's above everyone else's. But mine is the only one that's real. Guess what? Everyone thinks that. Yeah. So, come off it. I think mine is real. I don't think mine is better than yours, though. Yeah, it's also, <laughs> like, not, yeah. It's also not free from criticism. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, I think there's a lot to criticize and make fun of about my religion and every religion. There's no reason not to. I believe God has a sense of humor. He must. Have you seen some of the stuff that's happened? <laughs> if God doesn't have a sense of humor, he's miserable. <laughs> nice. Oh, I was just supposed to do that? Okay. Yeah. I wanted you to do the living weapon attack. Now, this makes you... You're invincible while you're using this, but when you if you get hit, it'll drain the meter. So, ah. Kind of like Spartan Rage. Got it. Okay. 
It's good for bosses. I usually save it for bosses. Yeah, I'm, if I'm done with the tutorial, I'm done here. You can take over for a bit. Okay. As a Filipino, some food suggestions. Adobo, if you like sweet, Big Bowl Express. Uh, if you like spicy, Minudo. Oh, I do like spicy. Oh, dang it, there's a hole in my sock. Uh, for me, it depends on the spicy. If you like tomatoes, Nilaga. I don't really. Uh, Sinigang, if you like sour Palabuk seafood pasta. Okay, I might try the Minudo. All right. Does Amrita have a Japanese name? I don't know. I doubt <laughs> it. I doubt it. Because I don't okay. know of any sort of like energy source power in Japan. Do you? Or in Japan? Key. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that would be the closest so, thing. I but... guess you could say Key is Amrita. Uh huh. <laughs> but they have them, I think, as two different things in this game. So. Dinghies are ready for us to make landfall. For all I have read on this country, nothing can truly prepare me for what lies ahead. I leave my cabin. Great. You know what else I love also about the PS5 version of this game? No load times at all. Notice continue immediately appeared. I, I played this on PS4 and there, there were load times. On this, immediate. I'm 50-50 on the whole load times things because they don't... It, load times don't actually bother me. Unless they're egregiously long, like over 10 minutes. But what's also nice about it is even though there's no load time, you have to press continue. So if you want to read what's on the load screen, mm -hmm. you can still read it. Mm. Like I know you've said before, like you've wanted to read what's on the load screen, but the load time is too fast for you to do it. This game gives you control over that. Um, I was talking more about um, something else. That was in Harry Potter, where on the bottom right, their loading symbol shows each of yeah. the four houses, but because it's so fast, I only see two of the four houses and it bugs my brain. The ship just went, okay, bye. We're not sending anyone with you. We're not going to Japan. That place is weird. Yeah, they got spinning wheels that eat Where's baby Where's all wheels. that armor? I worked my ass. I told you we sold it to buy the ship. All right, so since you picked this as your main weapon, it's the first weapon we get. Oh, nice. The spy is ku uh, Kusarigama. Okay, yeah, I, I, I know how to play the game. I don't need tutorials. A mariner's shirt, or mariner's shirt. Oh, man, I can't trade all that stuff for Amrita either. What was the point of it all? Hey, what was the point? Did we, wait, did we start with zero Amrita when we got to here? I don't know. I actually haven't used this weapon at all, so this is new for me. Oh, cool, you can throw it as your triangle attack. Nice. Interesting. Right. Do. Give me your arm, Rita. Disrupt the dead. Alright. Hello! <laughs> A frog. Hello, little guy. Frogo. <laughs> These guys are little tree spirits. They're, uh... What are they called again? Uh, it'll say later. I'm gonna call them frogos. So, we have 200 on Rita. We need 250 to level up. We need 50 more? Damn, leveling up taxes. Uh, my favorite new Pokemon is Cinderace, Greninja, Hisuian, Arcanine, and King Gambit. <laughs> Alright, so, um, can't go up there. Uh, just in the future, you guys gonna hire down. some editor for, uh, for your po uh, posts or vids? What do you mean? Hold for the ladder, man. <laughs> so the guy up there was a coward. He just tried to run off without pulling the ladder down, and as you can see, he died doing so. <laughs> Dude, this fool. guy died because he didn't pull the ladder down. It looks like either way you go, you die, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but one guy still died a coward. Now, the thing is, uh, you remember in, uh, when we were in the Europe, when we were in London, weren't really any monsters until Kelly made one. Yeah. That's because, you know, Europe, uh, Europe has its mythical monsters, but it's, uh, Japan is on a different level. Pretty much every time somebody dies in a way that's not pleasant, they become a goddamn yokai. So, there's gonna be some interesting stuff here in Japan. Now, let me know, by the way, Shane, if you see um, any of anything resembling one of these little guys out in the world. The froggos got it. Yeah, if you see a little froggo. Um, there's one here. I thought there was one here. That's not. Uh, then, uh, one thing about Neo, if gods and monsters exist in Japan. Does that mean they exist elsewhere too, or just in Japan? They probably do exist elsewhere, but we were only in the Tower of London, so 
It and would have been um, really cool if there were some, like, uh, British mythos creatures, but, uh, this, this game is mainly for Japanese. Yeah. And, yeah, if you want, you can challenge fallen souls, also. Yeah, I know that's a thing. Um, there actually are, there is an enemy type that awakens those to attack you, mm. so. That's frustrating. Oh! Just a regular-ass guy? Ha! Huh. You know who I fought before coming here? Oh, oh, re another cool regular-ass guy. <laughs> yeah. And then he became irregular. Could run sooner. So yeah, shit went down here. A lot of people died. Are you guys interested in hiring editors for the videos or the YouTube shorts? Uh, okay. uh not well, current. I don't really need an editor for YouTube shorts. Like those, I those are already edited when I put them out, and they only take me a few minutes to edit. Yeah, same as same um, here. We currently have a guy uh, who edits our Let's Plays already. Um, Shane edits the inaccuracy videos, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know. Do you want to edit um, a watching video for us? If like if you've seen our watching Gods of Egypt video, we're looking for someone to do make more of those for us. You want to do that? It's a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, again, I could probably give that to Taha, but Taha has plenty to do already. So you know, maybe that would help. Cool, so we're already getting some armor. Nice. Uh, I'm Greek and devout uh, Helianus, and I enjoy your videos of the gods. You have a genuine appreciation for them. And cultures around the world, it takes a lot of learning and sincerity to make the videos and jokes you do. Thanks for making the videos, Andrew and team. You're welcome, Thank Alexio. Thank you so much. That's wonderful to hear. This is how we block with this. Yeah. Beware I... the chain. We <laughs> are the chain of Akron. Now, we want to find the little, as you call them, froggos. Kodama, I think is what they're called. Yeah, Kodama. Uh, no, they're called We want to froggos. find the Kodama because um, if you ha find a certain amount of a certain type, like there's five different like types, so that there's... being there. They're all Kodama, but they wear different kinds of hats. So there's white frog, there's green frog. Oh, Shane, I just realized we can't be spiffy anymore. They've taken no, our they, spiff! They took the hat. How dare How they? dare? Well, for the hat! For the spiff! You know, the, new, the new canon of this game is we're trying to search for our hat. We well, our goal our hat. is to one day regain our spiff. You said there'd be monsters. All I'm seeing are bandits. Well, you know, you gotta... Build suspense. No, I want monsters. Okay, I think we have enough to level up. We might as well level up. <laughs> uh, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, we need. So if you get a certain amount of Kodama, you can get a boost to a certain gain. Huh. Like, okay. let's say we find five of type of the first hat type. Mm -hmm. You can make it so you gain more Amrita. Possibly. Got it. Nice. And another one is gain higher quality gear, increase the likelihood of like medicine drops, stuff like that. Makes sense. Yeah. So it's good to have Kodama. Okay. So body will. Uh, what do each of these do? It shows on the right what each mm, one does. Okay. See. Right skill points. This would make the our strength our power with the current weapon go up. I remember body is really good. Heart is good, too, because also that gives you more key, which is stamina. Mm -hmm. And we want stamina. And then here's just stamina. <laughs> um, Why does that not give us more stamina, then? Tell me. Uh, some, here's the thing. I don't fully understand how this system works. But when you upgrade a skill, like, sometimes it upgrades a certain stat and sometimes it doesn't. I don't what know is it, why. This Pokemon? Yeah, right? Like, exactly. Strength. Uh, strength is very good for being able to equip better gear because sometimes the best gear you have will be heavy and you can't equip it or you can just manage to equip it but then it slows your character down a lot got it so okay. it's good to have good str skill is really good for weapon damage i'd say like early on the, the most important skills to get are heart for more key because more key is great mm -hmm. um skill for more weapon damage and strength for better gear like these are the three best things for now, uh, I think wait, I'm going to prioritize... What about Dex, Magic, and Spirit? Dexterity is good, too. Um, it's Just what do they It do? mainly goes... Like, Dexterity can also increase your weapon damage, but it's also... Um, its main focus is ninjutsu stuff. Mm -hmm, okay. Magic is, as I'm sure you can tell, magic stuff, yeah. mainly. Um, and, you know, pretty much...
Pretty much everything increases your health a little bit, so that's good. And then spirit is guardian spirit bond. Mm, I didn't it. I didn't really focus these three until later in the game when there are certain guys who like there's certain missions that say you have to have a minimum this amount of dexterity to play this mission or stuff All right, like that. Uh, we're gonna be right back because I someone just rang the doorbell, the doorbell so I want right, to see who that is. Right so we're gonna back. go on break. Have you ever felt like nothing in your life is solid? Have you ever felt like your life is crumbling apart? Then try Earth. Earth is a tool created by the best manufacturers in the world to help keep your life stable. Earth is a great tool that can be used in a multitude of ways. It can be used to build your house on, for planting trees, and even growing food. Earth is not for amateurs. If you plan on using Earth without the proper knowledge, please make sure you bring along an expert in the field to help you use Earth to its fullest potential. When used incorrectly, Earth can cause avalanches, landslides, earthquakes, sinkholes, and volcanic eruptions. Earth should not be used around small children or infants. If any small children or infants are involved in an Earth accident, please call your local rescue services. Do not try and solve the problem yourself. Remember, Earth is there to keep you stable on your feet. Earth, stay grounded. We're back on? Uh, we are now. We're All right, back. we're back. Okay. And the key so like I said happens. earlier, I'm thinking of going either heart or skill. The body would give me three weapon damage. Three whole weapon damage? Three whole weapon uh, damage? Weapon two. We have a second melee weapon equipped? Um since when? I I don't know. Why is there different stats for weapon one and weapon two? Well, because it would be like um I, sometimes a certain skill is gives you more power for swords, or sometimes one gives you more powerful for axes, you know, stuff like that. That's weird. Whatever, I'm just gonna do this because I want to prioritize damage early on so that it's easier to cleave through, guys. Um, what do I have in the second slot? I don't have anything in the second slot! Oh, you're talking about unarmed attacks! I get uh, it. Uh, I get it! Ha it. ha. Oh, also, I think, like, learning ninjutsu, uh, like, stuff, like, uh, it makes your unarmed attacks better and shit. Oh. Well, I have some stats that I kind of want to, uh, that I'm planning to upgrade. And they're none of the ones that you said. Great. Again, since you can create your own builds and stuff, this would be a fun game to play two-player. Like, imagine, like, my build with my weapons alongside your build with your weapons, the and each of us having our own spirit companion and everything. That would be really cool. Especially in Neo 2, where you can make your own character. Sorry, go ahead. The only problem with that is, uh, one, is they clearly want it to be a single-player game. Uh, yeah. Two, don't forget the triangle uh, is a ranged attack. Yeah, I know. It's not that ranged. It, well, it, it has more range, but, you know, it's not like a bow attack. Well, yeah. Okay. So, the thing about this weapon that I'm noticing is, uh, 
it's good, but it's um, it doesn't really have a big sweep like a sword would. So it's best for focusing one enemy at a time, it looks like. Maybe if I change my stance, it'll be different. Oh, yeah. Actually, never mind. That I was using high stance, so <laughs> that's why. Yeah, yeah, that, that would make sense. The high stance oh. is more for dodging. I found a little Kodama! Hello! Frogo. Hello, Frogo. Hello, you adorable little thing. Oh, they get scared if you attack. I had to break the thing to get to them, so. Oh. Hello, Frogo. Hello. You have to see they're lost. You have to tell them where the shrine is, basically. Mm, makes sense. It's over there. Hey, Frog, oh, it's over there. Thank you. <laughs> He's adorable. I love these things. Good Frog. In such a gruesome M-rated game, it's nice to have cute moments. This is M-rated. Well, yeah. <laughs> blood everywhere. <laughs> I, personally, I don't think blood is enough for something to be M-rated, but I, well, I also okay, I make see what the rating mean, system. But like, there's you know. No, you know. You, you can chop people's arm, limbs off and shit. I so. again, I don't think that should be uh, M-rated, but that's but I don't make the rating system. It's like how I don't think, so, like, uh, the Mortal Kombat movie, while I think the action was awesome, I don't think that was uh, should have been uh, rated R. Didn't they cut, like, people open and, like, guts everywhere and have fatalities and shit? I don't think it was enough to warrant that you have to be 18 or old. The problem is that there's only PG-13 in R rated. Of times. <laughs> oh, no. It's not like I've never heard that word before I was 18. Honestly, the rating system is dumb. Ooh, I like it's this too... hat. Ooh, it is. Hey. It's is that a metallic? Uh, the Bryce? I really like that. Yeah. It is a nice. This is a, is this our new style? We, we look hat? pretty cool. Hey, this is our new style hat. Yeah. Th now we've we've got some Asian spiff going on here. The great spiff of the east, the eastern spiff. Oh, I thought he was too young, but I should have taught him how to use it. So his kid died because he didn't know how to fight. No. No, kitty, give me comfort. Yeah. These bandits slaughtered everyone. We need to get justice for these people. Justice, justice, meow, meow. What does meow. low stance look justice, like with this? Justice, oh, that's now, cool. Now, now. <laughs> I feel like our hat goes with our weapon. It does work. Uh, let's see. About the froggos, I know a very odd tree spirit. It's called the Iroko, and it's from Yoruba mythology. They're mostly peaceful, but seeing them will cause madness or death. Why, though? Mostly peaceful. <laughs> mostly peaceful. Is that a monster that you hit, or was it no, just a scarecrow? No, that was a scarecrow. Okay. It moved when you hit it, so it, uh, it just made me think maybe it was. Uh, let's see. Any new updates for your AC Odyssey, or are you guys going to shelf it? Because Neo is better than Odyssey, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Neo is way better than Odyssey. For now, we're shelfing it. I will make We'll make a decision later. We yeah, we talked about it, and, uh, you know, we came to a decision that, like, for now, let's just play something that's just objectively good. <laughs> let's, well, let's play something we're, at least we're enjoying. Yeah. Like, there's no point in making you guys watch us be upset unless that unless you want us to be like Angry Joe. Which I'm we... like I'm actually really proud of how we're doing so far. Like I feel like I'm kind of breezing through this, and Shane beat the first boss in one try. So like because uh, we're pro gamers. I'm surprised man. at how not frustrated we are right now playing this, you know, Souls like game. Again, we're we're pro gamers. That's why. I would like to get a sword, though. I really like the sword. So, like, I'm thinking we'll keep one sword in one of these, so we have a little something for each of us. Well, I'll probably swap weapons around to see which one I like yeah, the most. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, I'm very. Uh, I remember when I was playing for the first several levels, I kept one of each weapon type just in case I wanted to switch. But by the time, by like the second third of the game, I was like, I just need a sword and an Odachi. I'm good. <laughs> like, yeah. And obviously a bow and a gun. <laughs> uh, have I ever tried Pokemon Go? Yeah, I played it when it first came out. So he and I played it together right when it launched. We yeah. went out at night into the world and played. Uh, and it crashed constantly. Yeah, well, that, those were the early days. <laughs> yeah. so. um, because they did not expect... Like, I can forgive that one. I, I know they weren't expecting such a huge response and players yeah. and they literally said in their next update our servers are humbled by your overwhelming response um and i actually played quite a bit for years after but yeah. uh, i haven't touched it very much since i like oh, I, oh, I played it for like it came out during the summer right? i played it for yeah. the summer it came out 
And then I start, a after I caught, like, a good amount of Pokemon and everything, I realized just how much I didn't like the combat system at all. And so then I was like, well, what's even the point anymore? Like, it's just, you had a perfect combat system for this, and you just kind of ruined it. So, so I was done after that. Yeah, I, to be fair, they made it more for the for the feeling of catching Pokemon, less for the I know, fighting. but, like... I know, if, it, if it, that's it, what you want. All you had to do was port it over. Would have been really simple. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do that. I can't really. I, I hate that I can't jump in this fucking game. This is not about the jump. This right. is about hit. All right, let's explore a little. You hit let's as much as you can. You do. Way. You jump zero. Let's see what's over. Um, I think this leads to that other shortcut from before, which I would like to get. Uh, but yeah, I played Pokemon Go for a long time. I actually had a friend who was super into Pokemon Go, and I didn't have a car at the time, and he would drive, me and him would drive around town uh, whenever we had time off, a after work or on weekends, and we would do raids and stuff, and those were actually really fun back in the day. You know what's cool? Um, in uh, London, it was called Medicine. Here it's called Elixir. Interesting. And we don't have all the medicine we got earlier. We used it. Yeah, so actually book, right? nothing carried over. It was all for nothing. That's so. <laughs> that's dumb. Not even an achievement or something? I got literally everything in that area. Oh, how much work that was. Uh. Let's see. Hi, Mythology Guy, and uh, my name is Shane. You can call me Zagard, Z A G A R D. Uh, but welcome, Laura. How are you doing? Welcome to the Dragon Set. Hello, Laura. What brings you here? Uh, are you any relation to Laura Croft? Laura Wolfie is her full name, but we'll just call you Laura for easy. Laura Wolfie. Ah, so you're uh, an other yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just realized this is a bigger guy. Adding on to the uh, Odyssey question, I'm not sure if it's over now, but Andrew, in your spare time... Play it. All I will say is there's a lot of mythology you'd personally enjoy. No, yeah, we wanted to get to the mythology stuff. It's just, like, it was such a chore to deal with the mercenary garbage. So, um, like, look, we'll see if we play it again. If we don't, eventually, yeah, I'll try to do a full playthrough of it, because I've said I, I eventually want to start also, like, you know, streaming in my own way. Obviously, I would still do these streams, because I love doing them. But, you know, there's uh, there's also some games I would really like to dive deep into, and I think that's the best way to do it. That makes sense. Um, yeah, it's just that, honestly, I don't... I didn't like the... Like, apparently, if you level up your assassinated ability, then you can kill everybody, but to level it up, you have to kill certain people, and it was getting really annoying yeah, just finding one of them. it was a fucking pain in the ass. We didn't... It was so not fun. And uh, it's like, because it was so much fun at first. Like, yeah. we were loving the game, and then it just it got... I would have it loved, got so not fun. <laughs> I would have liked it more if it was like more clear what I had to do to find the cult members so we could level our level up our powers and become powerful. Yeah. But it's like in this area you may find a clue. It's like that I ran around that area and I couldn't find anything and it just really frustrated me. And then Andrew didn't like the way that the merc they, they would summon like 50 mercenaries to just show up yeah, and attack. Yeah, they just keep coming and coming and coming. And then, like, the only response to that is, well, just, you know, uh, pay off your uh, your mercenary bounty. It's like, yeah, but you can't... You're always going to have a mercenary Yeah, bounty. because you get mercenary bounties just for playing the game normally. Like, nothing you do doesn't get you a bounty. It would be... Oh, like, hello, first monster. See, I would be fine if it was like there was one mercenary in the game when you're at level one, and then each time you level up there'd be more mercenaries and you're more likely to run into them. But yeah. the moment you get one, they just spawn near you and they just find you yeah. immediately. All right, time to unlock the shortcut. Because uh, the other idiot was too dumb to just put a fucking ladder down. Yeah. Wait, why did they die exactly? I'm uh, guessing that dweller killed him and then they went up. The oh, ladder. no, I think what happened is he. this guy was hiding here from the bandits uh, and he didn't want to put the uh, ladder yeah. down because he didn't want to... And then that he didn't want like, them to be able to get up. Or yeah, something like but that. then him and the guy below both just starved to death eventually. That's my guess. Okay, now should I go to the shrine? I, I do kind of want to see if I can level up. Uh, we'll how much Odachi do we have? Twenty three hundred. Um, 
We have 2,300 Emrita, yeah. Yeah. Actually, does it respawn everyone if I just pray, or is there... I think it probably does. The idea to receive a Kodama blessing is... Oh, nice. Um, Great, so here we go. Yeah, see, here's what I was talking about. So we've only got one, so we can increase armor drop rate by 1%. If we get more, it'll go up. It, that's only for this area, though, right? Yeah, well, it, it's for this section of the game. You got it. Like, okay. if you... When you go to a... Even if we complete this level, this will carry on over to the next level. But if you go to a new region, got then, it, okay. then you need to get the Kodama again. Uh, so I personally really like the Amrita bonus one. <laughs> Obviously, it makes you able to level up faster. Um, Alexios wants a life tip. Okay. Um, don't play Raid Shadow Legends or um, any game with an energy limit or a like or pay to win garbage do not spend more ever ever spend more than five dollars on anything cosmetic in a game because that is a scam there you go there you go don't encourage that kind of garbage in gaming i know you have your own opinion that's yeah, my I'll version just, I'll you, just you can give Andrew's yours if you want tip. uh my life tip is if you're gonna if you're gonna buy things for a game Make sure right. you a they're actually valuable to you. I could use more keys. And Let's not just this. because you feel the necessity to do it. Oh, and also increasing um your key or what? That's oh, hard. I, th I thought that was increasing my weapon weight rate, but no. No, isn't just... that strength or stamina? That doesn't. Yeah, I know. Like I, I was like, why is the weapon weight rate in green right now? That might be because of the know. weapon we have on or something. Maybe I don't know. Never masturbate with a chainsaw. I mean, that that's a pretty good life tip, you know. I think that's almost as okay. good as us. We could use more key. I keep running out of key when it's okay. Yeah, I moved so. the um, the the. Oh, and I have enough for another here. level. Great. Uh, do I want bodies? Okay. Well, um, um, we don't really need strength yet. Well, let's get even more key. <laughs> Boom. Now we can attack even more. It's It feels really good when you get a ton of key and you can do a whole bunch of attacks before like, oh, I'm running low on key. Yeah, that, makes, <laughs> that makes sense. Watch out. Okay. And now I've increased our armor drop rate, so that's good. Uh, got this shortcut here. Uh, let's see. Uh, after seeing your... Uh... Nikusui video, I started to wonder why didn't they appear in any anime or games. Also, I think the way they feed... That's uh, the meat they, sucker, right? Uh, yeah. They might, uh, the way they feed might be similar to how spiders eat, injecting a venom and sucking out the juice. Well, spiders do more than just suck out juice. I mean, juice. possibly, but uh, Japan also has a Joragumo in it, so, yeah. you know, that's a spider thing for you right there. <laughs> like, Joragumo are spider women who literally suck out, like, a man's life force, like most female yokai do. <laughs> Because Japan does not trust women. Oh, got another dweller. Okay, so for the next upgrade, we need 1,500 Amrita, which we're already kind of close to. I like this weapon, but I really prefer swords. I'm really used to how they work. Well, okay, you don't want these guys to get you even when you're blocking, because sometimes they grab you. Yeah, I saw him reaching out. Yeah. All right, and you want to use the low stance against them because it hits them more easily. That's what I'm doing right now. See, it hits them a lot more easily. Oh. All right, um, come up here. You can. Or don't. Eh, whatever. No big loss. Oh, that's one <laughs> way to get around them. Yeah. Wasn't we would have had our 1,500. Hey! Kogo! Kodama! Kogo! He's got a bowl. Hello. Oh, he did get back up here. Oh, and he grabbed me. Oh, no. Fuck, he poisoned me. God damn it. You asshole. I was helping a Kodama. He does not like the How did he though. get up? He must have climbed up the ladder or something. I don't know. All right. Uh, well, that's annoying, but uh, it'll wear off. What's my favorite Pokemon game of all time? Uh, yours is Shield, because that's my first... One, then Legends, Arceus, and Scarlet. Um, my favorite one of all time. That's kind of a hard one to pick, because 
Gold and silver were really awesome. Especially. But do you like heart gold and soul silver more than gold? And silver? Well, heart uh, heart gold and soul silver are better, but yeah, they're just the, kind of objectively better. Uh, for know. the sake of brevity, uh, I'm just gonna say gold and silver. Yeah, uh, they're only there's really only gameplay different and graphic differences between the two, and the graphic differences don't bother me. And yeah, silver was uh, not silver. Gold was my first one. Yeah, my first one was either blue or red. I can't. When I got first, um, I remember in uh, high school when they when Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out, and like uh, <laughs> like um, everyone was playing Heart Gold, and I was like, well, I do want to be different, but also I grew up with gold, so that's what I want to relive. <laughs> so I, I got Heart Gold. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> um. My, so I really like that one. I have some really fond memories of Gen Three, but they're not my favorite. Gen 4 I really loved. I remember when it was coming out, It was I, I, there was so much hype around it, I had so much fun with it. But I love the story of uh, Black and White the best. So, mm -hmm. my favorite... I, I don't know which one I would say is definitively... Do you like the story of Black and White with the Pokemon PETA thing? Yeah, because um, not only is there... like uh, it, it, I mean, it's obviously a trick. Uh, you find that out at the end. He's, yeah. he's been tricking all of them, which I, I think yeah. is a good idea, good thing for a villain. Um, but also, I like that in the story, you meet all these gym leaders. And hey, they, we got a bow! Hey, let's go. Uh, I like that we meet all these gym leaders, and they all have jobs outside of just being a gym leader. And I love. Yeah. And honestly, when you get to the end, and all the gym leaders show up to help you fight all of Team Plasma, that was so freaking hype. That um, is cool, yeah. Yeah, and they haven't ever Ooh, done that again since, which kind of makes me mad. Nice. Um, <laughs> okay, that's a spear. Okay, I'm gonna use the sword. I'll keep the... Ooh, a tonfa. Nice. Yeah. I'll keep the other weapon in the uh, secondary slot. There we go. I think I might have to say uh, Platinum might be my favorite. Just I actually I... really like Platinum. That's actually the Pokemon game I've played the most. Yeah, that's, that's where I was that... training my team and everything. That's that's when I that's why I would say Platinum is my favorite because I played that game so much. I love ah, a lot I of the Pokemon. A sword. It. Yes. It has probably I can't say for sure if, if Turtwig is my favorite starter of all time, but it's between him and Cyndaqu uh, Cyndaquil. Those two I love them both. Yeah. Might... I I really liked how Platinum had like the um what was that? There's like that battle cafe where you can fight the gym leaders. Oh again. yeah, the yeah I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, and that like, was great. And also some of like your companions and everything, like and uh, you know you got the cute little house that someone just gives you for no goddamn reason. <laughs> yeah. It, can you do me a favor? Can you just take this villa? It's like wow, that is the laziest writing of all time. <laughs> but whatever, I'll take it. I'll, I'll get free stuff. <laughs> Uh, so I really loved Yuki. Thank you for the sixty bits, hey, my friend. Hey, Yuki. Because you used bits, I can use that oh, tomorrow checkpoint. for uh, Hell yeah. Legend of Zelda. All right. Got yes, it. it carries over. It's my stream. Shut All up. right. Let's see if more Frogo upgrade. Yeah. Let... Well, I, I got a different kind of. Fro oh. Yeah. Kodama frog. So ah, oh, we could use frog. more elixirs. We're, we've only got three right now. Do you only get to have one active? You can only have one active at a time. Ah, okay. So. That explains. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, because I, I think we could use more elixirs, and there's already plenty of armor that drops in this game. Uh, so yeah, my favorite, I would probably have to say platinum. Oh wait, I can up, I can level up. I should, I should level up. Um, should never. There's no reason not to level up. <laughs> question of the day: Would you rather stay at home or go out for a big event? That's a really hard one for me. Cause I'd rather host. That way, I get to do both. <laughs> no, you don't get to go out if you're hosting. Oh, cool. So this hard upgrade will give me both key and weapon damage. I'll get. Okay, now we need 2,000 for the next one. So Andrew says he would rather stay home. Well, I, I like to host, honestly. If you're hosting... Uh, I mean, I guess it depends on the big event. Like, I, I like going out to, like, Comic-Con or Disneyland. Yeah, or no, exactly. Or, like, you know, going to a nice dinner with friends or the movies. Yeah, that too. Yeah. So that's why it's so hard for me to just pick one. How is he not dead, by the way? Like, I don't want to... By the way, if this is the question, then I I never want to have, like, a Zoom event or something. Oh, yeah, that's, no, that's that's not... No, I mean, that's, like... Yeah, like, I'm saying if that's what they meant by stay home for a big event, if they meant, like, a Zoom event, uh, no. No, no, stay home means, like, inviting people over and having, uh, like, having a in-dinner I, I, I or a game I, night. Yeah, I'm just... I'm, I'm not, like 
presuming to know what like the person asked. Oh, it's the me question. asking the question. Oh, it's you asking. It's the, the question, question of the day. Oh, okay. I thought it was someone in the chat. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The the chat at any point can type exclamation point QOTD and it'll do the question yeah. of the day. Okay. And I'm the one who makes them up, so it's always me who's asking. I uh, I like how we look right. Uh, yeah, yeah, we do look. We look pretty cool. I like it. Um, we look like Asian Geralt of uh, Geralt of Rivia, even though we don't look Asian. It's yeah, just the like... outfit. We look like Geralt of Rivia, appropriating their culture. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a hard one for me because there there are events where I like going out, but okay. I think I'd have to say ultimately uh, I'd li I'd rather stay in. I guess I'll just drop down. Bye, guys. Just going to go buy some eggs. Please don't stop playing. I mean, we'll eventually well, have to we'll stop have to... Oh, it's already 6 p.m. Damn it, I want to keep... We can keep playing till like... We didn't start till 4. We can keep playing yeah. for at least until 7. Well, until you need to go or I need to go. I uh, just so. need to get home around like 8 p.m. No, that's so, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we can keep go uh, going for I, a while. Um, yeah, that's like... Wilda, Wilda's going to be at mine around that time. We're going to... We got to get up at like 2. 30 in the morning for our flight. Fortunately, I already... Oh, are you going down to LA uh, tomorrow morning? Yep. Oh, Fortunately, okay. I already, like, recorded several shorts for while I'm gone, so... That's, uh... You, you guys will still have shorts while I'm gone. And, you know, I just finished the Shockingly Similar Stories video, so that's a long video for you while I'm gone. So... And, yeah. We'll see how... When the Thor video finishes. Duh, duh. Uh, Shane's working hard on that. Uh, ah! Uh, okay, Geralt. you know what? Screw you guys! Superpower! Ah! 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 Oh, shit, I got hit like five times, so it all got used up. It's okay, and I killed the main guy. Andrew took a bunch of attacks of opportunity. Oh shit, oh shit, okay. I was out of stamina. Oh god, another big guy showed up? What the fuck? We'll kill that little guy. Yeah, I'll try, just... One thing I like about our uh, the ninja weapon that we got, by the way, is it looks yeah. like it does damage through guard a little bit. Okay. Okay, just me and you. Just me and you. These guys used up all their stamina like idiots. Okay. Yeah, like, what kind of dumbass does that? <laughs> Certainly not me. Hi. There we go. Hey, all we right. did it. We got him. Got them all. Um, oh, what do you mean, we? <laughs> depends on the event. If you had to pick one, Yuki, though, if all your events in the future had to be one way or the other, which would you pick? Yeah, well, then I want to have them at home. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. Uh, because, like, yeah, then I, I would host. Host barbecues, host movie nights, host shit. It would suck, though. I would still like to have, like, out side events <laughs> but if i could only pick one like because like you know when you get old you're not going to want to constantly go out as much it's more fun to just have people over to the house i can't stab him while he's down uh, the about fem female yokai and trust issues i think i know the reason behind it there's an old japanese folk belief that says Men have a limited amount of sperm, so if you have too much sex, they'll become infertile, so men must avoid aggressive women. This kind of explains why harem heroes are such wimps in anime. That doesn't... It's funny, because that's scientifically the opposite. Women ha are the ones who have limited amount of chances to have children, whereas men have infinite sperm throughout their entire lives. <laughs> Japanese mythology has a lot of... Uh... Well, it's it, still awesome, though. Like, literally, the story of Izanami and Izanagi, like, starts with, you know, them falling in yeah. love. And so what happens is the way they court each other is they agree to go meet up at a pillar. And then Izanami, the girl, first says, is, it's so good to fall, meet such a wonderful man. And then Izanagi says, it's great to fall in love with a wonderful woman. So then they union, and they, um, they have a kid, and the kid is a... Disappointment. It's got no bones. It's messed up. So they're like, alright, try again. Literally, they just throw the kid away. <laughs> and the kid survives and becomes a Bizu later, so he ends up being awesome. And they have another kid, and that kid's also a disappointment. So they go to the Elder Gods, mm -hmm. Elder Kami, um, and they go, hey, what up? And the Elder Gods go, it's your... It, no, they don't say it's your fault. They say, they literally say, it's the woman's fault. 
Like, what do you mean? It's like, you let the woman speak first during your courting session. It is improper for a woman to speak first. The man must have all the authority. Ah, so we have to go do it again. So they do it again where Izanagi goes first, and then they have proper children. <laughs> it's like, they literally say in the myth, the woman going first breaks the laws of nature. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. I swear to God, that's what it says. <laughs> like, yeah, that sounds like... I remember reading that yeah. and being like, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when you... I, I, I love you, Japanese mythology, very much, but come on. <laughs> um, to be honest, I'm not surprised that, that yeah. that's There's stuff like that in a lot of cultures. Yeah, the, the further back in history you go, the worse people were. And it's really amazing, because if you think about it also, then in later, in Japanese stories after that, you know, after Izanagi retires, Amaterasu takes over. And she's a woman, and she becomes the ruler of the Japanese gods. So, uh, no issue there. <laughs> yeah, it, it, they, they became less sexist as they wrote the story. Japanese myth is the only mythology I have ever been able to find where, where a woman rules the gods. And yet it's still got stuff like that. <laughs> like, you don't let the woman speak first. It breaks the laws of nature and results in... Messed up babies with no bones. <laughs> Which is a little weird. But, yeah, whatever. I get, and you know what you know, that says to me? It's the elder gods that are the sexist because Izanami yeah. didn't care. Yeah, like Izanagi and Izanami didn't care, but like the elder gods were like, listen here, put that woman in her place. I, you know, you know, it, it was actually them being progressive and being like, "Look, the old ways are wrong, but we'll let them go for now. Once we rule, we'll put the woman in place and let her have her time to shine." Okay. Headshots do do more damage. If yes, they, insta kill. If they oh. didn't, that would be kind of. Uh, well, you know, not every game has that implemented. But, what uh, that they do do more damage? That a headshot would do more damage. Really. I think I've seen games where that's not the Well, case. I know there were older games that didn't have that as a case, but most, like, 99% of games... Well, this game don't. does. That's the point yeah, I that's was true. making. That's fair. <laughs> I was still surprised and really happy that the... Oh, okay. So to stab someone when they're down, hold triangle. Hold triangle, got it. Yeah, that's what okay. you do. You don't just do a regular hit. So, Andrew, you know how at the um, end of Survivor there's that one character who betrays you? Yeah. You know, that was spoiled for me. Oh, really? You want to know why it was spoiled for me? It's the dumbest fucking reason. It actually made me kind of mad. And what? throughout the whole uh, stream, I didn't tell the stream that it was spoiled for me. So I kept going, hmm, this guy's acting sus. And everybody's like, why do you think he's acting sus? Because I, I wasn't sure if it was spoiled for me. I thought, and you weren't sure if it was true? Yeah, because the thing I saw wasn't like a YouTube video or a comment. It was a picture on okay. Google. All right. Literally, what I was doing for uh, when I, uh, in in my second stream, I ran into Endo Cordova, and I thought he was dead in the, from the last game. Yeah, like that was a surprise. Yeah. So my yeah. thumbnail was a picture of him, and uh, was gonna be a picture of him and me going, "I thought you were dead." And then I typed in Endo Cordova, and one of the first pictures on Google Images is the picture of the guy shooting him. <laughs> okay, you shouldn't have said that on stream though. <laughs> well, I, yeah. They, yeah. Everybody's. But, seen it yeah, that that is stupid though. Like they shouldn't have. Why would they show that as, like, one of the first... So maybe it was trending because everyone was shocked or something. Yeah, I'm guessing, but yeah, that, <laughs> that was spoiled for me really early on. Uh, but the re the other big stuff, like, uh, the stuff with Seer, that was not spoiled for me, and I was really happy going into that. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, the, that segment of the game. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. And, of course, the most difficult I, boss. I mean, Rick, once, once you... Once you... <laughs> of course, yeah. Of course, once you see, like... Like who's in? Who else is in that seer section? You can kind of tell what's gonna end up happening. Yeah. Because I I remember thinking if this doesn't end up happening, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but honestly, that oh my god, that was that I was really that. cool. Yeah, a fun change. I mean, it was a really epic moment. Was that also the hardest section of the game for you? No, not not the section. Oh oh, the, the, you mean you the, know, yeah, the yeah, fight yeah. itself? Yeah. It was pretty tough. You know, it was... Well, I think for me the hardest section of the game was the uh, Ogdo Bogdo. Oh, right. Yeah. 
Ogdo and Spawn of Ogdo. Yeah, I don't think I didn't, I didn't. I didn't do that part. So. Oh, you didn't. Okay, well there you go. Yeah. I guess it, you could say se- sections of the main game. Yeah, that was the hardest. Part. Honestly, I, I'm a little sad that the last boss was so easy for me. It only took me two tries, and the only reason I died the first time is I messed up. Same. Exact same. Yeah. For me. All right. Um, I'll respawn here if I die anyway, but I can level up like twice, I think. I want everyone to respawn and have to fight them all again. Here, how about if you uh, level up, I take over. Oh, okay, fair. Um, I'm at half. You're back from buying eggs? Well, we stopped playing the game, clearly. Yeah, we're done We're done playing the game. We're not We're not playing anymore. Wait, oh, what? this is the same guy from earlier. He's only one hit away. He just went back to his post, and then he died. We decapitated him. He died. We uncappa. Okay. Him. Well, now I'm glad I didn't level up because I got a chance to finish what I started. <laughs> Young Samurai Locks. By the way, do we oh, have any more powerful gear? Um, I'll, I'll check right now, actually. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> hey, um, oh, whoa, that looks cool. Yep. Yeah. Right. No, this is our strongest. Yeah. The rogue armor is stronger than... Okay. Ooh. There we go. I like that helmet. Nice samurai helmet. Yep. All right, now we're looking like a samurai. I'll be honest, I preferred the headpiece uh, before. But this is still really cool. Accessory. Hmm, interesting. Okay. okay. Uh, to both of us, which Pokemon team would you join? For me, it's Team Aqua. Hmm. I wouldn't join a team. I would be a lone murderer going around killing everyone. So he'd make his own team, Team Slaughter. Team Slafter. Slafter. You can't spell Slaughter. Exactly. Um, I would... So in my... I did do a Pokemon Heart Goal playthrough, and I made up my own team, Team Badge, which is the... They're the hero team. Their their goal is to take down all the villain teams. Okay. Um, um, all right, I've, I've pretty much cleared out this whole area up until the checkpoints I've reached. Uh, Alright, let's just go the right way now. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss any uh, Kodama. Uh, what would I say then for... Out of all the teams, let's see, there's Team Rocket twice, Team Magma, Team Aqua, who I think are both dumb. Uh, Team Galactic, which is run by a psychopath. Team Plasma, which I like the story around, but they're all kind of idiots. Okay, let's kill this guy. Uh, team, what was the next one? Team Flare, which was just basic, it was basically Team Galactic again, uh, but not as cool. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. That's a waste, God damn it. I was trying to use a heavy attack. I have oh, that's annoying. Oh, yeah, I gotta get the key from inside. God damn it. Uh, see, there's a demon. Man, I know, like, it's this is really annoying. Okay, I'm gonna heal beforehand just to be safe. Um, Open both doors just so there's more options. Okay, here we go. Then there's Team Skull, who is kind of interesting. I never finished, uh. It's an Oni! I never finished Sun and Moon, okay. so I can't Let's say much about them. Let's get out in the open, where I can uh, fight this thing more easily. Team Star, I actually... I like Team Star. They're pretty interesting in the new game. Uh, but I would have to say, if Damn, I were to join that, a team, it would be Team Rocket. If that I had to. fucking super would have been very helpful right now. Yeah, Somehow that generate key. About Team Rocket, are they siblings or a couple? I forget. Neither. They're they're they just work together. They're no. co-workers. They're they, friends though. <laughs> uh, they, they there are times where I think originally Rock. they uh. they were uh. planned to have them be a couple, but yeah, they're definitely not siblings because James grew up rich and Jesse oh, no, 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 no. basically okay. grew up on the streets. Really, I would have assumed the opposite. <laughs> yeah, that's why James is like obsessed with all these like fluffy pampered animals because he's uh. And he doesn't care about money. 
But if you notice, James, uh, Jesse's whole thing is she always cares about money and jewelry because she grew up poor. Uh, and then James is just a sissy pretty boy, basically. By the way, you know, uh, did you know in uh, in the series, Ash is no longer the protagonist. Yeah, I know. They did... finally retired that. Yeah, because and then there's those theories about like that. Oh, now it's Ash's daughter. It's or not. It's, yeah, it's I already didn't think confirmed. It was. It's not. And some people are upset that it's not. Okay. Like I literally, saw, I was watching some. Um, what do you call it? There you go. There we go. Uh, I was watching, I was reading some comments, um, okay. and, uh, so, and, uh, of a post where it's like, this is the character's d dad, and it's 100% not Ash. Because they actually show their dad in the show, and yeah. he has lines and everything, because he's not a terrible father like <laughs> Ash is. And, but, oh, by the way, enemies that, y you remember that mm, swirl yeah, yeah. that was around before he the appears? Gates. They don't re, they don't respawn. Oh, that's, that's neat. Yeah, so enemies that are born from, like, the Dark Realm don't respawn. That, that's not to say an Oni will never respawn, just, like, if you see one just walking around in the world, uh, that one would respawn. Okay. But ones but that come world. from the swirls, permadie. Nice. So if you're, like, you know, if you're, like, focusing an area, sometimes it's good to be like, alright, let's eliminate these swirl guys so that, you know, they're just out of the way for good. <laughs> Makes <laughs> like, sense. Yeah. Um... Okay. Oh, is that a... No, it's not. That, I thought uh, it was a frog. No, that's unre I thought that, too. I thought maybe it was a good one. Okay. Anyways, uh... There, there's an episode that I kind of want to watch, uh, where it's the episode where Team Rocket and all the Poke Pokemon they've ever collected come together for one last try to take Ash's Pikachu, and I won't tell you how it ends. Okay. And I kind of... I want to watch it because I've seen some stills from it. It's really good. But what's cringy about some of the people in the fandom, when I saw a post that was talking about how he's, um, how Ash, Ash is not the new character's dad. Yeah. And literally some of the comments. That's sad. I just wanted it to be an Ash story forever. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. really? All right, remember, if you level up, I take over. I'm going to level up, so I'll hand it to you in a moment. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Since you're taking over, why don't you decide what the stat will be? I would recommend heart. It seems to give us a lot of bonuses. Hmm. Life, key, and weapon damage. I'll do one for heart. Uh, wait, how much does it cost us? It's going to cost 2,000 for an upgrade. Okay. The next one will cost 2,500, so we don't have enough for two. <laughs> Geralt of Kyoto. <laughs> no offense, but you look like a white male trying to be a samurai and saying is a ninja. <laughs> well, that that is what this character is, <laughs> literally. Did you do the upgrade? What did yeah, you do? I did hard. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, you can feel free to pick what weapon you want to use. I still have the other one as the secondary weapon. I'm not sure if we have a better one or not. Or, oh yeah, we do. There you go. Sword will be the secondary weapon. Okay. The sword is secondary. It's not a sword though, that's a spear. Spear, sword, same difference. You don't have to have a sword equipped if you don't want one. Just keep one in our inventory. please. <laughs> oh, right. by the way, you can sell our unneeded weapons and armor if you want to level up again. Oh yeah, just to these guys? Yeah, uh, you're still in the menu. Out of it. Basically what you do is you go to make offering. Hmm. To the right, there it is. And then yeah, just sell what we don't need. Something will be equipped if it has like a gold outline and a grayed outline. Yeah, I'm just wondering... Oh, there's new ninjutsu damage bonuses, okay. Yeah. Uh... You can select multiple things at once. Oh, um, how do you do that? Um, uh, with triangle. Uh, I'll just get these two for now. We're probably da, not da, gonna da. Use Oni are a bit vampiric as well. They like blood and booze the most. Very true. Yes. 
Oni are created two different ways. Basically, if you die and were evil, you go to Japanese hell and sometimes you are reborn as an Oni. Mm -hmm. It's like, basically, they're just Japanese demons. Everyone knows that. But another way is if you are so evil in life, you mm -hmm. will actually become an Oni before dying. Like, you can just become one in life. That's what happened to Shooten Doji. Mm hmm. That's, and uh, even yeah. what's interesting is Oni are, like I said, the majority of them are reborn evil souls. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if an Oni is evil and powerful enough, even when he dies, he'll be reborn again as what is called a Reiki, which is an even more powerful, like, ghost Oni. <laughs> That's scary. Don't become Reiki. And yes, I know Reiki is also a term for a type of massage and whatnot, but don't mix it up. Yeah, I'm going to get more dexterity. To make us more dexterous. And with the clones, he was able to capture all the rangers except Marvel, except for Marvelous telling him to give him all of the ranger keys or he'll give back the phone. Jo Shane, how to join the giveaway? Uh, type exclamation point giveaway. There you go. And that's how you do it. Um, how do you change your stance again? Um, hold uh, R1 and press either triangle square uh, it's or it's R1, okay, got it. Or press circle to just put your sword away. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. If the dwellers start crawling on the ground and your attacks aren't hitting them, switch to low stance and it'll always hit them. And it's R1, right? Yeah. Okay. Watch out for fire. Oh, there's an e enemy that will stay perma-dead up ahead. Yeah, I see that. Want to hear the oldest vampire myth? Sure. Again, what's your favorite Pokemon? Well, earlier I uh, said, like, my favorites are Charizard and Mewtwo. And apparently Shane likes the Jet Plane Dragon. Dragapult. Yeah, that one. There you go. Yeah, I, I really like Dragapult. We're actually near the end of this uh, level. We I need to get through this section and then there's a boss. Brocco. There's a Kodama. I'll get to Brocco. Must go through door. I know this area pretty well because um, you can also return to old areas and do new missions in them. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. Is it worth it? Well, you get rewards and stuff, and it's a good way to grind. Now be careful. This guy's faster than the other type of army from earlier. See? Watch out. You have your super if you want to use it. There you go. Now just wail on him. It's the safest bet. Especially since he's alone, so he's not going to be able to hit you while he does. There you go, he's dead. <laughs> no, was... yeah. Thankfully for the super weapon, that made that super easy. <laughs> Supers are helpful. And it looks uh... like you had some fast strikes because of the type of weapon you were using. What did we just... What did we pick up? Here. I don't think you picked anything up. Just a fool! Just a fool! You're wearing basic ass shoes this whole time? <laughs> Your basic ass shoes. This one's weaker. Oh, yeah, what did you uh, upgrade when you upgraded the second time? Dexterity. Okay. Now oh, there's an a hole shooting at me. Oh, you just assumed his body part? Oh. Well, that happened. You wanna go again? Uh, I'll let you go for now. Okay, if I can get to that, to where we died, I can get our Omrita back. This is our first death with consequence in this game. <laughs> um, so you have the sword as the other weapon. There we go. I'll just switch to it, I don't have to... There's only one enemy between where I died and here. Sweet! Maybe two. Oh, there is one crawling yeah. guy. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I ran out of... Low stance is fun, but it doesn't do as much damage. Okay, there it is. Marked by our animal spirit. By the way, while your animal spirit is out, um, you know, the, like, in that, mm -hmm. you can't use your super attack. Got it. There are three ways to get, to get it back for the super attack. One is to just reach it. 
Another way is to die again. Yeah. In which case your Amrita is gone for good, but your spirit comes back to you. And the third way is at a shrine. You can just call the spirit back, but you give up that Amrita that it's guarding. Ah. Yeah. So obviously the way with the best results is to just go to it and get it back. <laughs> it's also the most risky results. Yes, it is. Uh, uh... Shortcut back. No, no, giveaway, uh... It, it's the giveaway that's spelled in the title, uh, Catelo. So, if you look at my title, the way it's spelled there, that's how you do the, you join the giveaway. Uh... The way Marv uh, Marvelous was able to save them by throwing them on. Okay, he's out. Bring them more for some more. Grab them before Bosco stop. Alright. Hello! Six ranger keys Bosco was using and he ran away. Hmm. Uh, the oldest vampire myth is from ancient Suma, uh, Sumer. Sumerian mythology. Yeah, yeah, however, these vampires are not reanimated. Right. Usually the... Gentlemen with dark side. Yeah, usually the oldest myths are from Sumerian, Mesopotamian, or Babylonian. Which a lot of the time are the same, by the way. <laughs> Makes sense. It is one of the areas that we know of that has, uh, it is known to have some of the first forms of writing in human history. That's something I often come back with when people say, "Don't disrespect Hinduism. It's the oldest religion there is." I'm like, "No, it isn't. Mesopotamian was." <laughs> yeah. Hinduism is really old. Yeah, but... it's probably the oldest still practiced one. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like... Yeah. I, I think there's a Japanese Whee! myth is <laughs> practiced still, kind of, but it's not the oldest, because cause there was Chinese myth first and then Japanese myth, because obvious reasons. Uh, okay. I'm up on the roof! Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, this will collapse, so. Ah! Do we have any knowledge of I was of about five to say, so Freddy's? don't step on it. Do we have any knowledge of Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah, I know pretty much everything about it, except I didn't, like, take any interest in the Help Wanted games. I have yeah. a bunch of Freddy's figures, honestly, at home. I, uh, yeah, I used to watch the Five Nights at Freddy's videos that, uh, Game Theory made. And then I realized I don't care because I don't play the game. It's just gotten too cluttered and convoluted. It's also honestly. true. Um, I was uh, considering buying Security Breach, but I saw some playthroughs of it. I was like, eh. <laughs> yeah. I saw playthroughs of it, and it, it kind of made me want to play it. That's the one in the giant... Um... Yeah, in the Pizza Plex. Yeah. I actually had an idea for a Five Nights at Freddy's game that didn't necessarily need to be canon, where it was a FNAF theme park. And mm. I feel like the... Pizza Plex actually used some of the ideas I had for that, so that's interesting. Oh, so you sent an email to him. I right? actually did send an email to him. So oh. Maybe he's... I, I don't think for a second he stole my idea. It's just funny to think about. And even if uh, even if it was... Te uh, even if he did take the idea you gave him in an email... He probably wouldn't care if you made your own game that was similar. Yeah, he wouldn't. Scott Coffin wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> At least the old Scott Coffin. Maybe he's changed as I, a I man. I don't think he's changed. I don't think he, he, has. he has... One thing, though, is he's partnered with other companies. They would probably care. Yeah, that's true. Fuck, I don't... Oh, yeah, my key isn't regenerating because I'm in the fucking evil realm. I forgot. Oh, no! Yeah, that did more damage than I thought it would. Okay. I was trying to use a finisher on him. Oh, come on! Fuck off! Dude, do you not see the giant demon priorities, my friend? Uh, we summoned them. We're the reason they're here. So, yeah, I, I mm -hmm. expected it. Okay. See, this is like the bounty hunters in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Only way less annoying. Oh, God. This is infuriating. Oh, no! Get away from me! That wasn't fair! <laughs> Oh, I gotta go all the I way back here. I don't think that's gonna be easy for you to get. Oh no, that was a lot of Amrita too. That was like five thousand. <laughs> oh no. Okay. The compass, I think, shows you what direction it's in. Fuck! 
I should have... After I got the Emerita, I should have gone back to the shrine and just leveled up. <laughs> That's one guy down. Now I know there's a guy around the corner here. Yep. And if only I could have defeated that Oni, it would, it would have just stayed dead. We must get that Amrita back. That was a lot of Amrita. I remember one time I permanently lost like 80,000 Amrita because of falling in the damn water. <laughs> because this asshole shot- wait, wait, you should shoot that guy. Just shoot him in the head. This asshole shot me from like a mile away. I blocked the shot, but it was like a gunshot, so the force of it knocked me back into the water. And I- I was ready to kill somebody. <laughs> like, yeah. Understandable. Alright, now you can take on this guy. Arrows aren't gonna do much to him. Even headshots because of his helmet. I didn't mean to. Okay, watch out, you're a little low. Come on, come at me. Oh, finish him, finish him! He has no stamina uh, too late. Uh, I wanted to heal. I know. Yeah. Yeah, see, this one yeah. goes through the stamina a little bit, it looks like. Yeah. Like, they can't block it. Yeah. Uh, it, it makes sense that would be a harder weapon for them. Yeah, because it goes around. Alright, so... If you're gonna go the way I want, you gotta go up the ladder. You have to actually fall down the area that... No, it's kind of a trick. Okay, right. no, wait, 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 you can't jump. You have to go across the bridge. I'm an elite warrior, but I can't Remember, jump. Remember, there's no jumping in this game at yeah. all. There's not even an auto-jump like in Legend of Zelda. God of War. Alright, so I went down there. Oh, you can see it from here. Just, just go sneak over. Good. Yeah, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's the guy, but it's still good to get rid of him. Oh, he's out. And he's dead. You can get the loot that was in that chest now. Okay. Loot! Oh, you have enough for a super now. Maybe you can just carve right through that demon now. Gonna make it kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. I I uh, I take offense. This has been much easier for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just Burn. wail on him before it runs out. Yeah, he's he's done for. Oh oh shit. Okay, it wasn't enough. Get out. Get out. Get out of there. Because then that happens. Uh, I, I didn't know that could happen. Yeah. It's an attack they don't use often. Really powerful at the. Alright, well, I have hope that this won't be too hard. Uh, it's gonna be pretty hard, though. <laughs> Inhuman demon called Rabisu or Rabasa. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't know I still have this equipped. Oh, my favorite Pokemon movie? Hmm. Oh, um. What's that movie about red? That one. Talking about Pokemon Origin? Yeah. Was it a movie? I thought it was. It was a movie. No, I'm there, well, there's a movie version. Ah, yeah. That I don't think that one counts as one of the movies. All right. Well. Um. Then I guess the first movie. Yeah. yeah honestly, Pokemon the first movie is honestly, the best. Pokemon one. movies aren't very good. <laughs> um, they're fun for what they are. They're not something special. Just a little too corny. Yeah, that's to be fair. It's Pokemon. I know. You know which it's movie still, is really it's still a problem though. <laughs> yeah. What movie is really good? Guardians yeah. Three. Oh yeah, Guardians Three was great. Fucking. And one of the things that makes it so good is it has it's an ending to their story. I think that's the last Marvel movie James Gunn's doing. Yeah, it is. Because now he's going to DC. Yeah. He's leading DC. Yeah. Which I get why. Not only do they want him because people really <laughs> like his films, but. He wants to work there because apparently when he was doing the Suicide Squad, they said, do whatever you want. 
and yeah, he really so he like, likes the freedom that he gets over yeah. there. One of the problems that a lot of creatives say that they have with Marvel is that they have a very um, they have a lot of specific things they want you to do. Yeah, I remember like the the original director for Ant Man had like a particular style, and Marvel did. And then he was like, "Why did you hire me?" <laughs> yeah, honestly, that was. Like, I, I love the Ant-Man movie, but I, I do agree, like, why, why hire the guy if you don't want his kind of style? Yeah, that, that would be like going to Subway and being like, hey, can you make me some soup? Why'd you come to Subway? We don't, we're don't. literally known I for I want a Subway soup. All right, uh, good okay. luck getting the M, Rita. Oh, God, I, it's like I can't even get it. It's right there! <laughs> Look what you did! I mean, the good news is if you just touch it, it looks I like... I know, yeah, it'll come right back. Alright, um... I guess this is the safer way down? This is the only other way down. <laughs> oh, shit. It's okay, it's just one guy. Okay. Gonna do his jump. Yeah, we need more key. Okay, I'm gonna next time I if I'm in charge, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus key. on getting key. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember during my first playthrough, I did heart like all the time. I was like, I want more key, I want more key, and now I'm easily remembering why. <laughs> yeah, there's this one guy here. Get him out of the damn way, meddler! He always he does three attacks at most. Yeah, I know. So if he I, does three, that's when you can I know his over. patterns. I was just hoping I could break through his guard. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now nice. He's Fuck him. Um, yeah, honestly, Pokemon the first movie. It's the best Pokemon movie. Um, I like the story just, that they started. I just want to kill everyone to make sure nobody becomes a problem. I mean, that's smart. Um... Ugh. And e even Pokemon, the first movie, has problems. Like, I, I, I really never... Even as a kid, I didn't like the whole, Oh my god, the Pokemon aren't meant to fight like this. Why not? <laughs> like, I know we've been fighting Pokemon all the time, but not like this. I, I thought that was really dumb. It's, it's a dumb lesson to have. It's like, the whole theme of Pokemon is fighting. Like, uh, well, bite is an attack. You're showing Pokemon biting and being like, oh, They shouldn't be doing that stupid uh i disagree because the difference is, is oh come on it didn't let me get... oh, that's god damn it okay just get out of... i'm 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 focusing on getting that yeah that's smart. first of all thank you okay now me and you no super attack and then he just grabs you and kills you that was... Oh god, I I can't fight him in this confined space. That's not. Oh, you he almost grabbed you. Yeah, he he was trying to. Um, th there is a bit of a difference, <sighs> uh, because normally when they're fighting, it's like boxing, where yeah, you're trying to hurt them, but you're not trying to kill them. Whereas in the Fuck. movie, Fuck. Oh, get him! You get got him! Get him! Oh, barely! Oh, 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 oh. I don't like you. Um. I do not like you, Sam. I am. I like green eggs and ham. He was trying to do it. I'd be a little disgusted if I saw some green eggs or green ham. I thought that even as a kid, I was like, doesn't that mean the eggs are bad? Of course he doesn't want it. <laughs> I guess Sam. I am just has some has a fucking iron gut. Sam. Hi, I am Sam. Sam. I am, and I sell you some spoiled clam. <laughs> Oh, no! Well, at least it's in an easier area to... We can do this. Uh, I could have beaten him if I had a fucking super. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't. So yeah, I got Give a little me bit. two lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I love Mark Hamill. Oops. God damn this guy. We're not even at the boss yet. <laughs> To be fair, like, you know, there will be an easier checkpoint leading up to the boss. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. 
I'm getting an ad for Diablo 3, and about that, are you guys interested to play that? You mean Diablo 4? I'd be surprised if you're getting ads for Diablo 3. Actually, game... when we were trying to think of a game, like, yeah, like, Shane suggested Neo, I said, like, yeah, we could do that, we could also do Diablo if you want, and, uh, we ended up deciding on Neo. Yeah. Yeah, I just have more interest in playing Neo. Yeah. Um, yeah, and... This game is great, honestly, once you get your key up. <laughs> got him go. in the head, there you go, but he got you too. That's fine, he didn't kill me. Unless That'd you be... get your elixirs back when you die. Imagine if you didn't. Or wait, actually I don't think you do. I don't remember, I don't know. Oh shit. That's on me, that's on me, I made a mistake. Everything's on you. You ruined everything. It's a good thing we have the elixir drops up. I just realized <laughs> I was using the wrong stance. Ah, uh, okay. You ruined good everything. Good thing we found that one Kodama you that gets us more elixirs. Bitch. You ruined everything. You stupid, stupid bitch. You're just a poopy little slut who ruins things and wants the world to burn. Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> I don't know why, but that song is just so much fun to sing. I think it's the poopy little slut line. The next important episode is a two-parter with the Gokaigers getting ultimate power. Joe has to fight and win against female Red Samurai Ranger. Sumerian mythology had zombies and ghosts, but as far as I can tell, the Rabisu slash Rabisa Rabasa were never humans. They hunted at night like vampires. Okay. Oh, you got it, sweet. Yeah, well, you. You might just that. go back to the shrine and use it now. It's at seven point seven thousand. <laughs> no, not high enough. Is there a way to get elixirs besides just drops? I think later there's a store where maybe you can buy them. But I just got all of mine from drops. It helps that, you know, I, I, I got good at the game and I, I went and did every single side mission and some of them I didn't really need to use any elixirs on. Okay, he's got no stamina, He's he's done for. Unless you also have no stamina. <laughs> yeah, but he has to recharge a lot longer yeah. than I do. Alright, are you gonna try the guy or go back to the shrine and upgrade? Yeah, we might as well upgrade. Key is a problem for us. Yeah, key is a problem right okay, now. So which way's the way back? Um, you need to go into yeah, the, the house with the ladder in it, which I think this is this one. one? Yeah. yeah. And then go across the houses, just back the way you can. House jumping, just call me Super Mario. Bring, bring. Yeah. Rooftop rumble! Rooftop rumble. Oh, there's some money in here. I know. Okay, and, uh... Should be right there. Boom. And at least now we can just be like, all right, if we die, we don't really lose much. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're focusing on spear. We can right? definitely get at least two upgrades. It's a heart gives you key. Gives you two key every time. All right, so it's apparently just going to give us health and key. Well, the second level will give us some... Uh, some ranged attack upgrade, yeah. And spiritual stamina. I'll just get two things of heart. Yeah, we need key. He is a... Oh, you can do another one. Oh, I can. Huh. What if we do another? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, same thing. Your call. Yeah. Skill will give us a little more weapon damage. Okay, good. Ah, cool. Got an achievement for getting a certain amount of upgrades. Getting the Samurai. All right, cool. Now you have more key and more weapon damage. Aren't you so excited for the new uh, TMNT movie? Nope, I'm not watching yeah. it. I see no reason to watch it ever. It looks terrible. I don't know. 
It's weird, because I think it's just you and me. Everyone else thinks it looks great. I don't know I've seen some on. people online say it looks uh, that they're not happy with it, but... So many people are like, wow, I love this style. And I remember watching it being like, I hate the style. Yeah. What's that's... wrong with me? And you and I, like, it, were watching a movie, I think, and it played in theaters, and I saw your reaction. I was like, oh, thank God, I'm not alone. Yeah. <laughs> like, it looks terrible. It looks gross. It just, it, to me, more than anything, it looks lazy. It's like, yes, I know they're from the sewer, but that doesn't mean everything has to look like poopy Play-Doh. I don't even know what the hell the style is. <laughs> now you have your super, so when you face the demon... Oh, of course you want to use it on a dweller, though. <laughs> yeah, the dweller. Orume. Yeah, you don't get your elixirs back when you die. I was wrong. That's fine. Oh, you got one there. It's because we have the, uh, the drop 5%, rate up, yeah. so yeah, it's helping out. I think that'll probably be our biggest one for early game. Yeah. Until we find it's something. It's good to get all five, then it's a 25% oh, <laughs> bonus. Yeah. Every one in four fights. <laughs> yeah, basically. I remember once when I, w I was on a mission where I was using up a lot of elixirs, but I had all the Kodama, mm -hmm. so I just turned them all on and I got like 30 more elixirs. I'm like, I'm good. Like, even, when, even if you fill up your max, like... Extra elixirs go to the shrine. And that way, like, if you go to the shrine with not full elixirs on you, it will mm -hmm. replenish from the shrine. Mm. I'm gonna kill the, this guy first. Yeah, you should. Okay, get him out of the way. You know, I was doing good during the first fight, and then this asshole had to come join the party. <laughs> Uninvited. Like a freaking vampire. <laughs> Wait, but vampires need to be invited. TMNT was trying to copy Spider-Verse. I know. They copied it very unsuccessfully. Yeah, they did it unsuccessfully. It's terrible. It looks terrible. And I don't like the way they sound either. They sound five. They're like, hey, they sound like teenagers. No, they sound like 11-year-olds. At best, they sound like they're 12. Yeah, at the absolute most, which is literally not a teenager. <laughs> As Gravity Falls said, technically not a teenager. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, I think you've got this. I think you've got this. <laughs> You're just gonna shoot him. Like, fuck that. All right. Well, you shot his head right off. <laughs> That's how you end. Good. It. We never have to deal with this asshole again. God. We can finally move on, Pat, from our sufferings. There's a light at the end, end of the tunnel. tunnel. It <laughs> calls me. <laughs> okay. We've become masterful at killing everyone up until that guy. Yeah. So now we've got this level in the back. <laughs> There's no way the boss could beat us now dies in one try. <laughs> well, typically, a lot of people die in one try. I don't think it would take multiple tries to die. <laughs> <laughs> I beat him the first time, but died the second time. What, you fought him again? <laughs> and you I know. died in two tries. <laughs> you know what you <laughs> Who the fuck doesn't die in one try? <laughs> Listen here, you. <laughs> <laughs> Why I oughta? <laughs> nice, you got the drop on him. Dude, oh yeah, the triangles are heavy attacks. So they do yeah. Damage. Okay, you might want to go up that ladder that was there earlier. I just I know that there's a um a frogo that we have to get. To. Oh, uh, we can get to that I think when you get past this area. Uh -huh. I think this is to reach that rooftop. Man, how long is this gonna burn? Forever. What is it made of? It's Greek fire. It never stops burning. Oh, what the heck? Go ahead. Somebody shoot. Every time you hear, um, it means someone's noticed you. Huh. There's a Kodama on the other roof. I see that. So there's two Kodamas. Kodama. Another guy. I didn't Sucks know that would happen, suck. but I knew, for some reason, I knew not to stand there. Shame. The correct answer is, I meant to do that. I meant to well, do before that. you go down, you should see if you can get to that good uh, I just want to unlock that. Oh, yeah, actually. I didn't notice that. Oh, another 
That's funny. Pony enemy thing. Uh, where's the Kodan? He's, over, He's there. over there. Is there a way to him? I don't see one right now. Yeah, you have, you have to go around yeah. and get to those. I see the guy who fell down, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you can go down that way or you can go down the ladder. Oh, did I not pick something up over there? It's like it. Careful. Burning. He's lost some health. Oh! oh! I think that's the guy who fell down the thing. Where? How did you... You kicked the ladder down, maybe he did that. But it, they, okay. they do climb up ladders. Okay. <laughs> I didn't... But I... Okay. Yeah, yeah. that was... Uh, that, that was something, wasn't it? That was unexpected. <laughs> well, at least the shortcut is there. Uh, yeah, at least the shortcut's there. The demon's permanently dead, you know. It's a win. It's a win overall. How much, uh... What's the what's the currency called again? Amrita. Yeah, how much Amrita was it? Did we have like? A I don't know. I didn't see. Oh, okay. Uh, there's also a Kodama over there. Just need to find a way to it. Uh, and then who are dressed to fight and winning? Samurai, uh, Samurai mythology and zombie. Oh, no, <sighs> what feels good is when you get powerful enough to kill all these guys in one combo. That's where I am. I like it very much. Um, there's also a type of vampire in Hebrew mythology called an Aluka. They feed on blood and were able to turn into wolves. There, However, there they... are vampires in a lot of cultures. Yeah, makes sense. I, I made a video about it some time ago. Blood, blood drinking was a very evil act. I think about so two would... years ago I made a video on it. It's very badly edited, but, you know, it, it's a video. <laughs> Maybe he'll remake it if everybody asks for him to. I might uh, actually. Like, that would be a good one to do. Uh, oh, the Hebrew ones aren't undead. That's interesting. They're, specific they're just specifically described as living humans. Whatever that means. Yeah, not every vampire is undead, and Pusay aren't undead. It's more weird that they're described as living humans. Like. Oh shit. That's that's a weird yeah. that's a weird descriptor. Hi, I'm a living human. Why As did you need first, to emphasize the word <laughs> living? Reminds me of that the first b joke Brian Regan ever made was by accident. When he was a kid, he asked his dad, Have you ever seen a real live dead person? And his dad <laughs> burst out laughing. And that was when he first thought, Oh, I'm funny. <laughs> wholesome little moment. Yeah, that's why, he's such a, uh, that's why he's such a wholesome comedian. I love the joke his kid came up with. Oh. Did you hear that one? I don't think I did. So, one day, I just suddenly hear from my son's room, Daddy, I have a joke for your career. It's like, oh my god, son, what is it? He said, hey, Dad, how come dinosaurs don't talk? I don't know, son, why don't dinosaurs talk? Because they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I laughed for like an hour. <laughs> that's actually legit really funny. Like, that's way to go, kid. <laughs> like they're all dead yeah that's true that would be a reason not to talk <laughs> yeah there was a celebrity i was uh on a, uh, on a show i was watching he was talking about how kids are a lot funnier today than they they were in his age and he called and he's like i couldn't remember this one joke so we called him and it's um a panda and a tiger uh get into a fight and it's like okay uh i'll fight you once you uh uh you gotta take off your belt though I'll take off my belt when you take off your glasses, panda. <laughs> and then, uh, and then the panda uh, meets a turtle, and the turtle's like, "Take off your glasses. I'll take off my glass. When you take off your shield." <laughs> Very handsome little. He's at one HP, and you're like, "I have to do the strike." <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sibs, brother. I had to be uh, certain he would die. Any suggestions for a myth-based tattoo? Uh, um, whichever mythology creature or god you like the most. Really, the it's whatever you're into. Really, yeah. I um, I I always used to joke that if I ever got a tattoo, it would be a tattoo of Anubis, Cerberus, um. So Anubis, Cerberus, and uh, what, what else was? It? Oh yeah, and uh, Fenrir, mm -hmm. and um, Sharava from Hindu myth, which is a guard dog of the underworld. And um, behind you. 
Ah, yeah. Yeah, see, they go up the ladder. That's how they do it. And uh, maybe Kakulan. Oh. It would all be all of them just, ha like, howling and hanging out, and it would say underneath, who let the dogs out? No, that's, a nice, <laughs> that's a nice one. And part of the joke, like, only real myth fans would get it, because Kakulan's a man, but he's li he literally uh, is known as the Hound of Cullen. Ah. <laughs> so that's the joke there. That's a little inside joke for that myth makes fans. Sense. Uh, don't forget our spirit yeah. animals on the other yeah, side. Yeah, it's um, past, isn't it over here? Yeah, it's past yeah. the fires. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, and got it. You didn't get a chance to get this because fucker came up and just. That's okay. You. I was right next to. Him. But yeah, he just came out of nowhere and I was like, wait, hold up. Right what? the fuck out of nowhere. Hi to be fair, you know, not a bad tactic. It worked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I've used it. All right, it. we need to figure out how to get to this code. There's also an area down there we haven't been to. Yeah. I Maybe think... we should go. No, I think... Oh, oh yeah, we can't go. Yeah, we should, uh, we should go. Let's check it out. Someone saw me already. It's this dweller. Nope. Um... Do you guys like Pokemon? The Pokemon trading card game? Uh, I never really liked it. I I used to collect it a lot as a kid. Did not know how to play it though. Learned how to play it like when I was much older. And I was like, yeah, this is good, but Yu-Gi-Oh is better. It, it, and then they ruined Yu-Gi-Oh. And now I just play the card game I made. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this one's good. <laughs> um, yeah, the Pokemon trading card game is a little bit too. What's the word? It's a bit too involved for my taste when I was younger. Completed requirements for a title. Oh. Cool. I don't care. Do they do Reputation anything? has increased. Who is seeing me doing this? Everybody on the stream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, everybody. Um, right. There's a way to arrange these by level or power. I don't know. Do I have a sword that's more powerful? I like swords. Uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh wait, I think I accidentally unequipped your thing. I'll, I'll re-equip it in the other slot. Oh, we have a way more powerful Kusari Gama. Good, there we go. Oh, an even more powerful one. Boom! Alright, well... Your style just got a lot more powerful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. Okay. I'm just checking out my cat's chat. Longbow. Here we go. Okay, let's power up. No. Da -da. We gotta be powerful. You guys have seen this is a challenging game. Aha! Boom. No. Okay. All right. Boom. Okay. Cool. We are now more powerful. Let me check something. How's our current weight doing? Ooh, okay, yeah. Next chance we get, we should upgrade strength. We're getting close to our weight limit. Alright, sounds good. I'm just feeding my cat some food. Okay. Alright. Uh, ba boom Let me check out my chat. What you guys say? Andrew, by chance, have you read any record of Ragnarok manga? If so, is it good? I've been considering reading. I haven't read it yet. No, I've been, uh, haven't had time to. I really want to, though. It's been, people have been recommending it a lot. So, you know, maybe, maybe you should check it out based on what everyone tells me. Everyone tells me it's great. Way better than the show, everyone says. I hear the art is really something to look at, which makes me all the more annoyed that the show's animation isn't very good. Like, it's like, if you're going to adapt something known for how amazing it looks, why wouldn't you make the show look amazing, too? Some people disagree with me on that, but, you know, that's just, that's how I feel about it. 
Okay, I have my super, so I think I'm ready for whatever demon is <laughs> permakillable up ahead. Ah, uh, good, good. Um, it's annoying because yeah, I'm going to have to fight it on a rooftop. I was giving my cats some food because they were a little hungry. You shouldn't give your cats food. That teaches them to rely on food. Do not become addicted to water. Do not become... <laughs> My, do not my friends become addicted to oh, water? Oh, I, I didn't realize we had a gun. <laughs> yeah, we, we started. We a gun. I think we started with one. No, you don't start with a gun. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I switched our weapon to a gun thinking it was a bow. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, foolish. Okay, um, so we'll have the bow in this slot and the gun in this slot. That's good. Uh... Boom. We can go cagarm with a soldier and his own planet. That's the best source of the universe. Hmm. Okay. Um. All right. Here we go. I'll fight him here. Be good. Yep. Here we go. Well, he's not as big as the other one. Actually, I can handle this guy. And then he one shots you. Uh, we have almost 5,000 on Rio. Nice. Should be enough for at least one upgrade. Oh my god. He actually one shot. I should have healed beforehand. That was stupid. Alright, okay. right, go back to where I was. Uh, we don't have a shortcut, do we, besides that one? That one ladder. Uh, but that, that does cut a significant amount of the trip off, so... Oh, uh, I feel so stupid. At least we have better gear equipped. Alright. Jay reveals to the others that before he became a Gokagger, he was a soldier in his home planet, and his master was the best swordsman in the universe. And Ignite wanted to work for him to work for them, but he refused and they killed him. Okay. Andrew, if you ever do another Vampires from Around the World video, will you include Rabisu and Aluka? They are quite interesting. There is a creature called Aufhocker from German folklore. It's a blood-sucking goblin that is able to turn into various animals or into humans. That I did not know about that one. I don't really know German folklore very well, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, if I redid the vampire video, I would want to step it up, you know, because otherwise, if, if I remake it just to make the editing better, it's like, I might as well, you know, try to include twice as many vampires or something. I think I had about, like, eight or nine vampires in that video. I can, sure, I can get it up to, like, 15 or 20. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, there goes oh, that. no, the Amrita's gone forever! <laughs> That's okay, we didn't need it. Uh, it's fine. It's fine, you know, such is life. We'll get more from killing that Oni anyways. Yeah. It was also you could have your spirit weapon by the time you get there, so you <laughs> can have another chance, Andrew. Uh, of course. That's the reason. Uh, Morse tells him that they didn't want to waste his body, so they had his best man. Okay, it's great fire Zorg, and he has all of his abilities. Okay. You gonna attack or what? You're just gonna keep hopping like a fucking frog? Had enough of you. Uh, you, they, you can tell when they're gonna attack. I know, but he just kept, like, coming yeah, up and hop back. Hey, give her some slack, then reel her in. Give her some slack, then reel her in. What is this? Fishing? Okay. Try to... Alright, I wanna complete this section before the stream ends. I think we can do this. Yeah, we can definitely do it. I'm sure the chat's getting sick and tired of seeing the same shit over and over again. Well, no, they're loving it. A chat. That's a, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. We chat. don't need to do a poll. <laughs> okay, come here. Come here, you piece of shit. Come here, you fucking piece of shit. Here, you know what we'll do? We'll do a... a so you guys can make more channel points. Uh, I was so close to killing uh, that damn demon. We'll do a prediction. Do we up. finish this area before streaming? Yes or no? Oh, so you just want them to call whether we suck or... We can do this. We can totally do this. Alright, um... Where's that ladder you kicked down?
Okay, for real, where is that ladder you kicked down? Oh, who knows, I'll just go the regular way, I don't care. Oh, whoops, that is not the regular way. I'm very glad the that those big Onis stay dead. Can you imagine if they didn't? <laughs> Okay, I don't need to kill those same two guys again. There's no point. Just keep going. Uh, and yes, I am glad the big Oni stay dead. Like, it would be nice for grinding, but... For a once playthrough where I'm not gonna do too much grinding, it, it's nice. Uh, so yeah, we have a prediction going up. Use your Dragon Scales. Uh, remember, you only... Win dragon scales if someone oh, bets against you and you win. However, if you they bet against you and you lose, well, it, it, it's gambling. The house owns. Okay. Uh, something you should know. Let's Spend see, time where... matters that they don't care. Like in the older oh, seasons, most of the week would just, just kill go. any random bystander indiscriminately. It was great. Goblin's back. The goblin kitty. That's his name. This is my kitty, Goblin. He's one of the kittens we have. We have a full kitty. Her name is Milkshake. We have Goblin, which you just met. And another kitten named Sushi, who's very skittish when new people are here. So you'll probably never see her on stream with Andrew. Hmm? We could just kill her. No, she's a little sushi monster, and she likes to take the shape of a she's potato. She's a little oxygen thief. She likes to take the shape of a potato. You love potatoes. I like potatoes when they are chips or french fries. Those are the only forms I appreciate. Not even mash? Especially not mash. It tastes terrible. Oh, also tots. Tots are good. You never had good mash, then. Who, who made your mash? What? I don't fucking know who made it. I don't ask for the chef's name. Well, like, was it your parents, or was it a restaurant? It was a restaurant. Do you remember which ones? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't care. I just don't like mashed. Give me a break. <laughs> I, can, I, I can guarantee I could make some mashed potatoes. I can guarantee you would not. Okay. Well, then, mm, I would put money on that. <laughs> no disrespect to you. I just really don't like mashed. Fucking die! I hate you, Oni. You ruined so much. You fucking asshole. You took away my life savings. Okay, I know. I'm I'm going after you. I'm I'm not putting up with this shit. He almost grabbed. Just you. made it. And no, no. Get get the hell out of here, you fucking kill stealer. <laughs> Goblin one. Jump around. Uh, Douchebag. Okay. That Oni is done. No more of that Oni. <laughs> Wait, Baron Brezik, no what? You just said no. No to what? Oh, you don't think we'll finish it? Oh, interesting. Well, okay. You want to talk some shit, huh? A uh, little spoiler for Record oh, that's Ragnarok. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. Try not to do any spoilers. Don't, don't do spoilers. If you Andrew. spoil, we will kill you. Well, Andrew doesn't like spoilers. I don't care. If you spoil shit, I won't like hey, you anymore. Yeah, Okay, so that's where that led. Alright. Alright, now. My favorite uh, was the first Kamen Rider season. Cam the first Kamen Rider season when the monsters would kill them by melting them with acid. Huh. You All know, right. a family picture. All right, so we're proceeding. We're proceeding. I'm still surprised Nostalgia Critic did a video on white chicks. Huh? Yeah. Like of all videos to do a video on, white chicks is the one I did not ever expect him to. Do. Yeah, maybe he just saw it recently and was like, I can say things about this. <laughs> oh, there's a Kodama. Or no, that no, grass is just really green. green. Goddamn green grass. Where the frog go? Okay. Oh, hello. He didn't see Hi. us. Hi! What was that all about, you weirdo? <laughs> oh no! Damn it! Shit. He's 
forgot to switch stances. Yeah. Wait, he died from the fire. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll take it. And there's another guy there. Yeah, okay. Now I'm switching stances. Okay. We we just need enough key to be able to land one more attack, and I can just kill these guys in one combo. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Ooh, short. No, no. Um, if we could put that fire out, that would be nice, but I don't see a bucket anywhere, so no. There are certain areas in the game where you can, like, do a thing to put out a fire, but I don't think that's the case here. God, man, you see little gobs. Yeah, literally just, just one more One more key. attack, literally. So, let's get some more key! No, Wait, like, we need look, to turn around, turn around. Strength, look, look up to your left. Fuck it. Ah, ah! I think I have to get up there. Mm, yeah, okay. Weren't All we right. up there earlier? No, we were on this side. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, because this, this, this was the descend option. Yep. Oh, you want to say the Leonidas and Apollo designs are interesting, hoping they come into the anime? Okay, well then, you, if you're just saying that you th find them interesting and you hope they use them, that is not a spoiler. That's not a spoiler at all. Yeah. yeah. So. You just, I, I, like, you just say the designs are interesting, that's fine. Not a spoiler. Yeah. Spoilers? Uh, a spoiler is when you tell me something that's going to happen, or like... That's plot relevant. Or like some character's going to appear that we had no idea would appear, yeah. or like... Like, if I'm watching a Fast I, and I the Furious movie and you say, you know, that chase scene was really cool. Like, like I, I think, yeah, I, that's not a big deal. Or you say, like, oh, Vin Diesel looks interesting in this movie. It's like, fine, I already knew Vin Diesel was going to be in the yeah. movie. But if you have a movie and you say Spider-Man dies in it, that's, like, that's a pretty big thing that yeah, happened. that was a really weird Batman movie. Yeah, I don't even know why Spider-Man was there to begin with. Yeah. Wrong universe. I don't know, I was too busy trying to figure out what the hell Vin Diesel was doing there talking about family. <laughs> You know, it'd be a really good. Uh, I I kind of want them to do an amalgam universe one day, because it's so wacky. Oh yeah, the Marvel DC amalgam. Yeah. I you know I actually do think that's where we're headed. Like not not anytime soon. Yeah. Okay. But like in like ten years or twenty years or something, when they're like, how on earth can we get people to you know open mouth gape at what we do now? We've done everything. It's like, not everything. There's one thing we can do. James Gunn knows people on both sides. Oh, true. <laughs> and I, I think that eventually they'll do that. Yeah. Yay! Shortcut. Finally. Oh, God. What a pain in the ass. Alright. Ooh, and there's some uh, Yeah, Amrita. there's a uh, Amrita here. That was smart game design to have it be, you can, uh, you can see that if you, like, from another angle. So now we can just go straight through here. That'll save us a lot of time. Yep. Okay. What are you doing, Sushi? Sushi's behind you. Look at the Sushi monster. Fuck oh, you, man. Okay, which way am I supposed to be going now? I guess I'll go this way. Uh. My second was in Kamen Rider Ryuki, where the monster would just uh, straight up eat random bystanders. Interesting. That, interesting. So uh, much talk about Kamen Rider happens, like, during these streams. I don't know shit about Kamen Rider, so honestly. <laughs> For me, it's just kind of funny. <laughs> Goblin, get down. What do you expect? He's a goblin. He's being a little shit. <laughs> Every time you go up on there, I'm gonna put you in the cage. Yep, he, he puts goblin in a cage. Is it made of silver? Made of antimony, cat. Ah, so goblin silver. Oh, oh, there's a Kodama up there! Hello! Uh, I think I saw him early? No. Uh, get to, there's two. Some of these Kodama are a bitch to get yeah, to. Yeah, I'm not surprised. There are a couple Frogos okay. we can't get to that we see. I'm gonna kill that one guy because I can insta kill him. He's like, hey! That was my friend! Why did he meet such a horrible end? Well, 
because he was an asshole. He burned down this village for no reason. Oh, there's an arrow guy. That was me. He was highly against what I was doing. He kept telling me, Dan, you're being a douchebag. And I didn't listen to him. <laughs> uh, there's another... Oh, no! Fucking hate. Can we have a fair fight, please? No. This is samurai times. You know what? You're right. It is samurai times. I've had enough. <laughs> it's Morbin time. We morb the hell out of them. What yeah. if they made a more uh, a Morpheus game? And like your ultimate mode was called Morbin time. No, I was gonna say a more well that, but also mm. what? It, but it was in a Soulsborne style, and it was actually like considered good. Oh, I'm out of arrows. That's fine. There's another way to we do this. We have a gun. Fire and. Oh my god, that was embarrassing. Whatever, he's there dead. There we go, now. now he's dead. Give me your ammo. <sighs> so, there's a lot of arrows. Now oh, there's some Amrita in the uh, building behind yeah, me. Yeah, I know. I'm just getting one thing at a time here. Hi, Milk. You bet. Milk, say hi to the chat again. Hi, it's me, Milkshake the Kitty. We'd like to thank Shane, you the chat all. hates cats, they don't care. We'd like to thank you all for uh, joining us for the stream, <sighs> and for all the bits and donations and everything else you've given. We love you all so much. Meow meow, I gotta go now. Milkshake is planning your demise. As all cats do. I'm okay with that. Everyone plans someone's demise. Uh, there's a food myth here in the Philippines that wild cats are being made to uh, hot dogs and some rice are made out of plastic. That's good. Here. Get rid of some of those worthless cats. Eh, better than dogs. These dogs contribute to society. No, they don't. They're, yes, they do. they're only good for food. Just look at China. They know what they're, they're doing it right. Blasphemy. Uh, they've done it before. There was an official crossover and unofficial. I, I know they're, uh, that they've done yeah, in the, the amalgam, comics. But I'm like, talking he's about live saying action he wants films. Amalgam movies is what he wants. And I'm talking uh, about live yeah. action films. That's what I was looking for. If they've done animated films, I don't know about that. Yeah, watch a uh, Dark Claw and the Hyena fight in live action. That would be something. That would be insane. Like, literally. Even a coward stands half a chance here. He's wearing a helmet. Pointless. What, would the helmet protect him from a bullet? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot I was using a gun. You don't know what that helmet's made of. It's made of ant adamantium. How are you alive? I I cut you like five times, buddy. Can you have some respect for basic biology? Is he gonna come up the ladder? Yeah, yeah. there he is. Um, oh, I'm out of ammo. Ooh, that would have been fun. Just, just shoot, shoot him, him off. off. <laughs> Whatever, he's dead. Shoot him off sounds like a, a, a kind of like, like a more aggressive version of jacking someone off. Shoot him off, honey. Oh shit. I had a feeling there no, was a I already there, cleared but I didn't this out. Say it anything. doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, you silver? mean you knew? Aren't goblins afraid of iron? Uh, fairies are afraid of iron, I know that. Goblins are a type of fairy in some myths, so yeah, that holds water. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Call that thing a bucket, because it holds water. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Wait until I tell the next season that's coming out. It's uh, supposedly a gotcha theme season. Oh, yeah, what, you Record told me. of Ragnarok? No, uh, um,. Uh, uh, the uh, the Sentai series, or a common writer. Okay. I don't know how you're gonna do that for a show, but uh, okay. Gotcha themed show. Like their powers, I guess, are gotcha themed. Which I, you what? know, there is a character. How do you gotcha? Oh, I was. What? I... There actually is a character in an anime. I won't say which one. Who has kind of a gotcha themed weapon. It's not where he pays, but like. When he activates his weapon, there's a roulette on which weapon he actually gets. And it's actually kind of interesting. Okay. Okay, Joey. <laughs> Similar. Uh, Alright, now we have this unlocked, so that's good. Let's see. Uh, Alright, where's the. I love all animals Kodama except for Chihuahuas. For gotcha! Chihuahuas are just a type of dog, though. Is there Unless an anime called dog. Chihuahuas? Huh? <laughs> what? I said, is there an anime oh, called Chihuahua? Animals, animals. Oh. 
it was just weird calling a chihuahua a separate animal. It's just, it's just a breed of dog, so. Uh, I heard that in China, cats are called roof chickens from time to time. That might be true. I don't speak Chinese, and I don't know Chinese slang. I don't speak Chinese, but I do speak to the Chinese, for I am inclusive. Okay. I am a warrior. Oh, God. <laughs> no, please. Get out of here. All right, here we go. We don't need a weeaboo keyboard warrior. All right. I made what it could be out of the fire gate. area, and I think we're about done there. Now, so, wait a bit on Rita. We have almost 5k. Again. <laughs> what do you mean? We were never close to 5k. We, we used it all up. We used it all up, right? Um. Always remember, gun. Yes, CMC2. You are correct. Not just any iron. Cast iron, or it won't work. Um, I've heard conflicting things. Some say just regular iron works. I like uh, the way to test if your baby is a changeling. One is to just press iron again it, instead. The other is throw your baby in the fire and see if it reacts. <laughs> I think uh, one is a little bit uh, safer. Just, I'm just saying. It's like in that, uh, what's that American Dad episode where, like, you know, like, uh, Stan loves jury duty because he sees it as a way to serve his country. Mm -hmm. And this one guy tries to get out of jury duty because he's holding, like, a baby bag thing. He's like, I can't afford to get proper daycare for my child. And they're like, all right, your excuse. And Stan goes, wait! And he grabs a needle and stabs the baby holder, and it's a balloon, and it pops. And he goes, what if that had been a real baby? And Stan goes, sometimes it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I remember that one. Fucking Stan is psychotic. Um, there was a, you know, I know that in not ancient uh, Scotland, but in Scotland, I don't know if they still These believe this, but they used to believe uh, that if you. Uh, oh shit! No, that, I'm not fucking. They used to believe that uh, changelings would come in the night and take your children. The fa uh, yeah, fairies would take your children and replace them with changelings. Yeah, and so yeah, what they would do works. is uh, sometimes parents would leave their kids in the wood overnight, and if they survived, it wasn't a changeling. I would think if it survives, it is a changeling. Yeah, well, no, they believed because if it survived, the fairies took the real one and uh, took its... Or if it died... There, there is a simple way to test for it. You just start doing something really weird in the house. Because changelings aren't babies. They're, like, grown fairies. So you start doing something really weird, like, I don't know, you put your muffins in, like, the boiler pot or something, and then the changeling will sit up and go, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and then that's how you know it's not your baby. That, you know, that's that's infallible logic. <laughs> we can level up. Yes, and we can get that Kodama. Oh, we got two of the, the potion ones. I mean, if it... I remember I, the bowl I, ones oh, are the potion ones. Well, they're, they're all wearing bowls on their heads. They're uh, just different kinds of bowls. I thought they were uh, all different helmets. And, and look, they're they're on the shrine too. Yeah, which is I see cute. that. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same one though that we found before. Yeah, well, uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So, oh, how many warriors? Have, oh, we only got two. Yeah, we've got two of each of these. I now, thought we we're not at least. Five. There's not gonna be all. Yeah, I thought we had more than four, mm, but I no. guess not. there's a total of nine in this level. So oh, there's five more. I know where one or two Wait, of them are. So there aren't always. Okay. No, because like like I said, the Kodama are for oh, the for entire the region. region. Right, right, right. So right. yeah. I was or, getting oh, level and region mixed thing. up. What is doing the guardian spirit? You can here? change your guardian ah. spirit if you get more, but we only have one. So okay, key and weapon. Oh wait, yeah, we we should do strength honestly because we're getting close to our weapon max, or armor max, which sucks because I would I would like this honestly. Um. Well, we're gonna but we're we're, we're pretty close to getting to. All right, fine. We'll we'll do this for the boss, and if we get enough to upgrade again, we'll get strength. Okay. Um, Power Rangers, but gambling. Oh, I could just sell some items and upgrade again. That's <laughs> true. We have a lot of items. All right, we're not using the tonfa. Tonfas are cool, but we're not using man. the spears. The spear. There's another spear, the Jumonji spear. Oh. This is a weaker sword. We don't need it. Um, where's the sword I have equipped? 
Okay, not gonna show. Right. It's the Tango. This is the weaker uh, Kusigama. Oh, no, we don't need the Tonfa Hammer. This is an even weaker Kusigama. Weaker, weaker bow. Weaker bow. We don't need this. Weaker another bow. weaker bow. Another weaker another this. Spear. Another spear. Another weaker this axe. Weaker bow. <laughs> you guys get the idea. <laughs> don't, we don't, more money. I need to more say it money. every time. Yeah, okay, money. sell it all, and make um, a certain amount. And they gave us salt as a bonus. Oh, Thank you that, for the salt. What's salt for? Oh. Now, now we have enough for increased one. Increased strength. We, yeah, because okay. we we need to be able to hold better gear for the future. Um. Uh. Doo -doo -doo. She was the only female red and gave him. I don't like chihuahuas because their bark is annoying and they're vicious little monsters. Yeah, it's because smaller <sighs> dogs are always trying to. The smaller animals tend to try and either they're, they're run away. They're trying to prove themselves. Yeah, they either try to run away or they try to become dominant by being the most annoyed. Oh, there's oh, wait, one over there. Is that the way to the Kodama? I could have just done this. <laughs> oh, that's why we thought. Oh we my had five. god. Oh. Oh, that's Silly. a unique one we haven't seen before. Yeah, this is a new kind. All right, now let's go here. This is another area I was trying to figure out how to access. Um, Stan harbors an alien in his attic and has an uh, anti-Semitic fish, and those are the more tame things. All right, how do I get out of here? If changings are fair, it's just smack the baby with iron. Then you go full Stan Smith. <laughs> Bought money, yen. Salt keeps evil spirits away. Well, that depends on the myth, but generally, yes. I'm guessing it would be included in this, since we're fighting evil spirits and we've been given salt. <laughs> I like it, um... In, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in Supernatural, one of the things, uh, on it only stops, uh, ghosts from getting at you. Uh, and so you gotta put a ring of salt to keep them. They can't go through the salt, so you put yeah. a ring around you. Yeah, that's typically how it works. And there was this one post where this, uh, woman was, uh, watching it with her daughter. And she goes, why don't they just put, uh, salt in a hula hoop and walk around like that? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I'm just imagining Dean walking around with two guns and with the hula hoop around him the whole time. All right. Um, is there a way to get up on top of these roofs? Milkity. Nah. Have you milk? I have an unhealthy obsession. Oh, I forgot to go this way. Should have done this earlier. Two. Oop. Take that, Amrita. Thank you. I still don't know how to get to that one Kodama, though. There's, like, one off in the distance, isn't there, that we weren't able to get? I thought that was that one on the left that you just got. Oh, yeah, maybe it was. All right, I, then only I don't know of any other Kodama. Yeah, I only remember seeing three. You going somewhere? No? Okay. You have a good day. He's try He's going all the way around to get on, um, think, roof. Oh, he he's been... Yeah, he was trying to get to me. I was dumb, buddy. Now you're gonna die a second time. God damn it, I increased our heart. Why don't I have enough key to finish you? Fuck you. <laughs> this guy increased his own heart, too, so he survives a little better. Yeah, he's ready to summon Captain Planet. Captain Planet. Well, he's one-fifth ready. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so what Kodama did we get? Oh, we got a drop rate of oh, materials. Mm. Oh, materials. Yeah. Oh, no. What does the gold at the bottom do? Oh, that's just, uh, that's just showing your current gold. Switching out, uh, which Kodama you're using uses up a teeny bit of your gold, but it's ah. so insignificant. Got Plus, it. I've, like, I, I never use gold at the actual store. I find it kind of useless, honestly. It was quite a distance I dropped from. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. God damn it. You fool. Oh, no, no, no. Not that it's a big deal. The checkpoint is right behind me. But it would be annoying to have to go through that all that again. Nice head slice. There's three arrow fuckers here. Can you guys fuck off? No, you're Could you do that? You're trying to Could break into our ship. Could you climb down out of my ass? 
I think that's the ship that dropped me off. <laughs> oh, perhaps. They've betrayed us. Uh, I think these guys are, you know, ransacking it. They've betrayed us. The men who brought us here. It was all a trap. Uh, the spirits can't drink margaritas with salt rim. Uh, the only good rim. I mean, why not just not right. put anything in I'm there? going to... All right, so that... I'll just tell you right now. That ship is the final thing. So I'm yeah, going to go this way first. It's not a bad idea, though. No need to pour salt all the time. And the uh, ghost can, can't blow it away with wind. Yeah, but do you know how hard it is to do a hula hoop while walking? By the way, it's uh, 7.30. Okay, let's uh, just finish up here. We got a new sword. Nice. Okay, so we've been streaming for three and a half hours, but hey, game's fun. Game fun. Right, so game's so fun, I didn't even realize two hours went We got by. everything here. We could fight this, but I don't Bye, guys. Just going to do some house chores. See you soon. Bye. All right. We're going to go fight the boss now. Six ads, and the first is a Taco Bell one. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for how... Twitches with ads, we don't control that. Yeah, the only thing I can do is to play okay, an ad. We ha yeah, we've got a better sword. Makes a mission to try and find a way to save bards all the time. Bards, rogs, orgs, the car Okay. The milk kitty is really happy. She's getting other pets right now. Sushi's a running better helmet. Here. It doesn't look as cool, but th this boss. We're about to fight a boss. Let's just equip good stuff. This is not good. Um, this is cool. Who's your quick kitty? This is good. Those are good. And, uh, and oh, there's... maximum weight. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to upgrade our strength again. I'll, I'll talk to him about it later, Baron. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the, um, yeah, I'm gonna go back, or wait, maybe, maybe the other stuff I equipped lowered it? No, we're a little above weight, so I'm gonna go back to the shrine, and I'm just gonna sell stuff until we can level up again. Why? Because we need to, uh, we need to increase our weight limit. What for? I've got our, be I've got our best armor on, and we're above our weight limit right now. What does that do? It slows us down in combat and makes our key use up faster. Hmm. We don't need that. Yeah, so key uses up like way quicker than it used to. Now. <sighs> All right, let's just go ahead and do this. Can you sell armor? Yeah. Okay, how much do I need? Let's see. I need. Okay, I only need a thousand more. Should be fine. Just sell what I'm not using. I'll keep this because it's cool. Yeah, we'll keep the good helmet. With this, we can just you know, sell what we're not using. How much Amrita do we need total? We need like 2,900. Mm, okay. Oh, we got an elixir bonus and a spirit stone bonus. That's good. What do those do? A uh, spirit stones just give you Amrita. Oh, okay. Like, is it temporary Amrita? Or... No, it's you. You just have it now. Oh. Okay, we're at twenty six hundred. All right. Uh, seven. All right, we're gonna have to maybe use one of these spirit stones. That's fine. So we only need two hundred more. Items, okay. usable items, spirit stone. This would give 500. Do we have a small spirit stone just so that we get just enough? Yes, okay. Each one gives 100. We, we have to join us, the sushi kitty. Say hi, sushi. Hi, sushi, the tiny scaredy cat. I'm going to go hide okay, now. Okay, boom. We have enough to sushi. upgrade. Woohoo. I've got two kitties just sitting on me now. Okay, increase the strength again. Oh, I need ten more! <laughs> God damn it. Well, you gotta, That's kind of funny. Time to go sell some yeah. souls. I'll just use another spirit stone. It's funny. Each one gives a hundred. How dare you? You're wasting our spirit stones, you monster. Each one gives one hundred. It's Those, not that's valuable. 
The guy killed uh killed took our Wait, uh, that's not gonna increase our Oh come on, we Okay, it's doing that thing where once in a while it doesn't give a certain stat. That's so stupid. Come on. Uh, Alright, fine. Okay, we need... L let me check something really quick. We need 3,000. How many spirit stones do we have? We have 10. We have 10 small ones. That's 1,000. And we have 10 regular sized ones, which each give 500. So that's. Just use three. Uh, that's 2,500. Okay, yeah, let's just use all of these. Boom. Oh! Yeah, I, your math I, I did the math wrong. I screwed up. Whatever, maybe we'll upgrade twice. <laughs> we'll see. Stupid. That was dumb. Okay, now it's gonna make her think better. Okay, we need three. Th okay, I'll use the small ones and then we'll have enough to upgrade again. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've been picking up a lot of spirit stones because we've been exploring a lot. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Plus, that increases our weapon damage, so that's good, too. Are we still over our weight limit? God, what are we wearing? <laughs> Full steel plate, Let me man. see, what... Are we over it? Yeah. God damn it. I guess the first couple levels of strength don't give that much. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I sold a lot of our armor, but not the helmet. This would put us back under... Yeah, we switch the to the cool helmet. Yeah, see, cool yeah, see helmet now we're like just under 29.1 out of 29.8. That's fine. Now we look cool. <laughs> now we are a true warrior. All right, let's see if we finish this by the end of the stream. All right, here we go. I'm just going to run past these guys because, like, I don't need to waste time fighting How fucking dare everybody. You, you got to fight everybody all the time. I really don't. If you don't, I'll have to cut off your toes. And I have a super ready, so that's good. It's the living weapon. The living waters. You know what? Uh, that's fine. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Will we get some story to finally figure out what the hell's going on? Oh, Shane, are you saying you haven't been following this mind-gripping story? <laughs> here we go. I'm guessing some sort of uh, chain-related monster is going to show up. Chain-related, you say? <sighs> it's chain tsunami. Beware! It's an even bigger, more ugly Oni. That, that's it? Okay. Oh, he's got a ball and chain on him. That was still right. The old ball and chain. He, he's married. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's okay, he's been tied down. Get all these boxes out Is of the way. Is it Onryoki in Japanese, man? Yeah, it's a... It's like, um, Yoki is kind of like another term for Oni in some ways. Mm. Onryoki... And Onryo is like a term for restless spirit, so it's like it's like a term for a like more aggressive Oni in some ways. A restless. Oh, okay, got it. You did three whole damage. This guy hits like a tank, so as you can probably tell. Yep. Let's see. Uh, sorry, but fortunately we've we've upgraded our key enough that. Like, it recharges a lot faster than before. Uh, this is a Japanese uh, series, so therefore he hits like a truck coon. Get it right? No, I refuse to get it right. You know what truck coon references? No. Uh, there was an anime called... Um, I'm forgetting the actual... Or a manga slash anime. I forget the actual name of it, but I'm just going to make up a name. Um, uh... Let's say it's a, uh, uh, it's called about, um... Uh, oh, shit. Uh, 
uh, the the it's life okay. of to uh, Tonva or something like that. And it was a series that was really popular. It was about this guy who, it was a typical rom-com where he falls in love with this girl and gets her to fall in love with him. And then they get married and then they have a daughter. And there was a sequel series about their daughter, uh, Amana Chan, I think was her name or something like that. Mm -hmm. Is that so? And in the first chapter, she gets hit God. by a truck and dies. Good. That's that's a happy ending. And so now anybody, uh, so now if a truck kills someone, they are now officially Truck Coon, who traveled to another universe to kill a main character. Uh, okay, good. Okay. Beware the hunchback of Notre Dame! <laughs> he does kind of remind Alright, broke through the chains. Now he's a lot faster. I see that. And he has range attack. Mm. Sorry. Hey, I break your chains and this is the thanks I get? This is the thanks I get? Look, you You're get... welcome. Look. I am your emancipator, sir. Look, he didn't get a lot of sleep last night. He's very restless. Don't forget you can... There's the spirit. What uh, spirit? Or the, 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 the swirl area. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 Two hits is all it takes. <laughs> Good to know. One you can get hit one. is all it takes. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so he's just down that way. Sorry to tell you, you do. Call if you want to fight the guys or just <laughs> go wee man and run. <laughs> yeah, use the Andrew technique. <laughs> and we thing. can just pick up our spear, right? Yeah, there it is. I basically used up all the Amrita before this fight, so it's not that big a deal if you don't get it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Not bad so far. Like, he was called in for construction. Before tractors, this was how things got done, okay. kids. <laughs> and there's one of our... Damn it, I thought I dodged. You thought, but you were wrong. You were a fool! He's uh, going smashy, smashy. Be aware of him. He was ringing the bells all night long, now he's cranky. <laughs> oh, damn it, that really hurt. Yeah, and you're out of key. How's the card game coming? Um. Good overall, yeah. Like, uh... Just, uh, there's a couple of things, like, I'm trying to think of a couple of abilities for some certain cards, and, uh... After I finish that up, I mean... That's pretty much it. All the art's pretty much done. I just need to finalize some of the abilities. What I'm trying to think of an ability for is the... I'll just say it, it's just you guys on Twitch. Uh, the Venara is what I'm trying to think of an ability for. Hindu, uh, Monkey Warrior. Hmm. What's it known for? Being one of the warriors in the army of monkeys that Rama used against Ravana's demon army. Does it do anything else? Well, in some myths, they're just monkeys. <laughs> hmm. But I prefer to think of them as, like, warrior monkeys. Are they really strong or fast at all? Or About as much as monkeys are. <laughs> In some stories, uh, Hanuman is their leader, but then there's others where they have their own leader, I think named Bali, not to be confused with the Demon King Bali. 
the different volley. Um, then a, an ability you oh, can shit. give is uh, when Hanuman or um, Bali, the, de the Demon King Bali is on the field, uh, they get an increase in power. Like he's leading them. I suppose, yeah. Could do that. <clears throat> Stuff. Hey, fucking hey, man. By the way, you do get your medicines back when you respawn. I think you're getting the ones from the shrine. Oh, the shrine gives you a certain amount. Yeah, I, I told you like when you when we get excess, they go to the shrine, and then when you die and return to the shrine, like they give you the excess. Well, that was a little uh, cheap. <laughs> Like, I'll see if it says, like, it'll say if it does. Yeah, your elixirs have been replenished with stock from the where, storehouse. There are currently two elixirs in the storehouse. So our max right now is eight. See, that's why I thought earlier our max was lower. I guess we just had a higher max in London. But since we came here, our character reset and his max is eight now. <laughs> it's like that, um, typical thing where the hero starts off with, uh... But it's funny, we started off as a prison escapee. We weren't exactly a powerhouse from the beginning. <laughs> but we were in our own... Co we had our, It's because we had our spirit. Uh, maybe, yeah. Of course. Our Tinkerbell helped us out. Yeah. Fortunately, we have a, like, 10% increase elixir drop rate, so even if we run out of the storehouse elixirs, we could just kill some guys and gather some more. If this keeps being too hard, a little off-screen grinding may be in order. <laughs> we'll find out. I'll try the sword for now. Well, Shane, how could we beat him, after all? He came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> and he never hit so hard in life. <laughs> I really wish I had just been able to finish him off that first time. I ma you make one goddamn mistake. One and mistake it's and it's all over. It's like in uh, Friends, remember? You are allowed one mistake. I'm kidding. You are, of course, fired. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I thought I saw something down here. Uh, okay, it's just that. Wait a minute, is there a monster in here? <laughs> well, I don't even know how I would get in there, so we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna check to see if Claire texted me real quick. Fuck off. All of you, fuck off. Yeah, we're out of storehouse elixirs, now we only spawned with seven. Hmm, okay. You gotta be really patient against this guy. The main problem is that it's so cramped in here. Yeah, that's the big challenge. If there was more space, I'm sure we could have finished it already. Yep. Gotta hit him during the... Uh, yeah, after he does these things, he does he's two vulnerable. Attacks, yeah. Shit, I didn't have enough key for a dodge roll. Yeah. Attack! Come on. He's gonna do a spin. Yeah. Fuck, I thought I could block it. <sighs> Do very little damage. <clears throat> okay. Oh, shit! That was pretty fast for you, man. No second attack? That was weird. Don't forget, if you do the attack R1, it should do something to him. Hmm. Fuck! Okay. 
I'm running out of elixirs. He's gonna. Ooh, you stunned him. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Oh, broke him free. You're welcome. Hey! You are the breaker of chains. Yeah. I am the emancipator. Hitting these does nothing. Fuck. Oh, huh. I bet if he had grabbed me with that, it would have been all over. Okay. Hmm? It's a lot faster now. A little harder to predict. You can do this. Yeah. Oh, your key. <clears throat> I like your key regen. Yeah. It regens faster if you're not blocking. Makes sense. God damn. Last elixir. Okay, ooh, that was close. Oh god, he's not even half dead. Now he is. Okay. I'm close to having my super. Problem is he has these dark areas there you go. I do think, since he's not, like, swinging these anymore, he does a little less damage. Yeah, Except when does. it's, like, a jump attack or something, yeah. those still hit like a tank. <sighs> I'm out of key. Can't risk it. How close are you to your living weapon, you know? <sighs> I don't know the exact amount of hits. You can see in the top... Left, it's pretty close. Oh, it's that part. I didn't see that. Okay. Looks like it's gonna be a while, actually. But it's not going up. Okay, maybe it'll be longer than I thought. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got his pattern kind of down. Mm. Yeah, because those areas are keeping you from getting in. And he's littered the whole place with them. God damn. Yeah, he's just covering the area. God damn. Okay, last one. Nope! Yeah, I got rid of a few. And then he made another one because he's an asshole. Are you such a dick? Huh? He's a Why are you such spirit? a dick? Oh, <laughs> that was... Okay, fine. You know what? I'll take it. Oh, shit. I can't heal anymore. Yeah, it looks like your okay. living weapon is not recharging. Okay, it's... I thought it was recharging. I guess not. Maybe only on kills or something. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I think it's only on kills. <sighs> Can someone Google when uh, living weapon recharges if you don't know? If you know, just oh fuck! All right, it's eight o'clock, so we gotta. Uh, end you want to call? Yeah, let's call it here. Okay. Uh, and it auto saves, <sighs> right? It, it saves every time you go to the shrine. It's fun. So, right. on, uh, those of you who voted that was yes, a valiant effort. Uh, you. You know what sucks? Um, if I had, I went in there with seven elixirs. Maybe if I had the full eight, I would have done it. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I mean, we need to go get more elixirs anyway, so this is a time to stop. We're all out of elixirs. Yeah, we gotta end here, chat. Uh, let's see who there is to raid. Uh, before we get uh get out of here. Uh, don't forget to join me tomorrow for some more Tears of the Kingdom and the giveaway. We'll just be uh, easy and go raid. Uh, I unfortunately won't be here next week because I'm going to be in LA, as yeah. many of you know. And then in three weeks, I won't be here because I'll be in Tahoe camping, so... So we'll see you again in two, two weeks, weeks and, and then, then two weeks, weeks after, after that. that. Jinx. Jinx, <laughs> you will. Um...
Anyways, yeah, thanks guys. We're gonna end here. Um, we're gonna raid our friend Gitfa, aka Jeremy. Here are the raid messages. Copy the first message if you are not subscribed. Copy the second message if you are subscribed so we can go spam his channel. It was good to see each and every one of you. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for just being here. Thanks for uh, all your support. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for Legends of the Tears of the Kingdom where we're just hanging out and playing the game. Don't forget about the giveaway if you want some free stuff. You'll get more points, which you can buy more tickets uh, if you join us for the streams. Until then, stay safe, stay smart, stay healthy. Most importantly, be thankful for everything and everyone in your life. And don't believe in yourself. Believe in me. Boo-boo's in you. Bye-bye, chat.